us what. I'm scared to be a rat. No, no, tell us no, what. I'm you're, scared you're, of t- telling you about you're, some of the soccer players I'm coaching. That you can't talk about them because of the minors. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's going to talk about one of the training sessions. Oh, that's fair. I back you on that one, bus. Talk, talk about your waist size. What was it? My waist size is okay. I lost uh, five pounds last week. I did. <laughs> you know, you it, gained it all back this weekend. I <laughs> might have. <laughs> uh, well, I don't know because paintball, paintball, we were, we, we, oh my goodness, we were sweaty. I burnt a lot of calories. Brad I think I ripped three, three hamstrings. Did you I didn't discover know. any new bullet wounds? <laughs> I discovered one on my leg, were you one of my pelvis. Did you leave before? Uh, no, I took the shower at, at our buddy's house, uh, and then I came out. I'm like, guys, I have welts all over me, and I didn't <laughs> yeah, see them before yeah, because I took a cold them. shower. Yeah. They started like reappearing, almost like uh, uh, those like invisible like um, uh, ink. Letter, yeah, ink when you put like the lemon juice on it. It was just like they just whoosh, started rising out of my chest. I had like five on my chest because at the very end of the game, I started running. <laughs> for that, for that, uh, the yeah, noodle thing, like styrofoam, quote, quote unquote, bomb that we're trying to get into. Like, just, just to let you guys know, give you a little bit more context to this. Um, <laughs> it was Fareed's bachelor's party uh, weekend slash day. There's only one bachelor. Um, <sighs> why you gotta? Why you gotta be all? <laughs> want me to go to Grammarly? <laughs> Some shit, bro. <laughs> let me live, man. Let me live. Anyway, it was Fareed's bachelor's party. We like paintballing and stuff. Um, great time. I got shot. In the head. I actually got <laughs> shot in the head. <laughs> Fucking was wearing a helmet, dude. Still got popped in the head, bro. That, that shit hurt, head. man. That shit hurt. Um, I got stuck multiple times. And that in the last game, there was like this playpen thing, this Fisher Price thing that he put like a netting on. And I ran, I jumped in it. I think I might have broke it actually. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but like you have like these. Uh, if you never play paintball, there's these holsters with like three tubes with like extra paintballs. It was like getting stuck in like the window. There's a net. My legs are tired already, so I'm, I'm like, trying to get out. I'm using, getting out of it like I'm using a walker, like, two hands on the outside. Like, I think I've even put my gun down. For real life Call of stuck. Duty, man. Real and life Call of Duty. Oh, my God. It's like a metaphor for Hussey's life, you know, trapped in, <laughs> trapped in a net, you know, drowning, can't get out, <laughs> arms up. No, no, I got out. I always get out. Probably broke it, though. Well, <laughs> even though you got out. I still got out, though. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, no, if you, want, if, of war. if you want to lose weight, guys, you really want to lose weight, this is a plug for potatoes.com, all right? Two weeks of potatoes, made a lot of water, a very water-based uh, vegetable. <laughs> Two weeks, nothing but potatoes, not talking mashed, you know, potatoes. You, you, you boil them, you eat them. <laughs> you lose like t- you lose a lot well, of weight. Okay, so it have two weeks. Anything to two do weeks. with you being Scottish, Al? <laughs> no, so no, no, that's the Irish. Pushing the potatoes. So I, I know where the he's Irish going with this. Uh, Idaho, right, oh. <laughs> probably the most Scott's famous. Got, Scott's got whiskey. The All most right? famous person that did this was. Um, uh, who's the the taller one in Penn and Teller? Is that te- is that Penn? Yeah, Penn. Pan of Penn and Teller did this, and he lost tons of weight by only eating, literally only eating potatoes. That's why. Uh, but almost every single doctor says that's not healthy for you. They can't be healthy. No. <laughs> eating hey, only one food for two carbs. Yeah. 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 Hey, you you will live. You'll survive it. You'll lose a lot of weight. Look, let's just get in front of this and just say we are neither physicians nor <laughs> nutritionists. Take my word for it, people. <laughs> <laughs> we do not condone, but. If you want to fuck around and try it, go pescatarian. That's on you. Oh, yeah, we got yeah, a pescatarian over here. Diets in this room. What's going yeah. on? Pescapelian? Yeah. Do you have to go to church on Sunday for that? that? What am I, a dinosaur? <laughs> pescatarian. Lake Cretaceous. Lake Acacius? Lake, what? Lake Cretaceous. What are you licking? <laughs> not you. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Not That's you. Like, I'm here. The way you looked at me, I got excited. <laughs> <laughs> if someone's giving out licks, I'll take them. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man, but this episode, guys, we missed you. You know, um, thanks for for always listening. Um, all those favorite fans out there, dedicated PFC Nation. It's, it's so good to be back, guys. Like I don't know about you guys, but I definitely missed this right here. Man, I, I missed it because you know World Cup, summer, and everything. But like, there's no off season with these guys, and we EPL right around the corner. We're already talking fantasy. We're already talking. I mean, transfers are already done. Transfers are not done for some people. But like the Let's EPL, the, the, shits, EPL, like, the World Cup ends as soon as it ended. Man, the EPL season obviously came right to the front. And we're back in it. I love it, man. PFC 258, I just want to say our Fantasy League is open. Usually we get to this at the end, but Fantasy League's open. Huss was the, I'd say, the PFC show champion. Um, not the champion of the entire league, but we'll. I think next week we'll get into a deeper dive with Fantasy. But I just wanted to let you guys know you can go sign up. Uh, the post is pinned on our Facebook page and our Twitter, actually, so... Go to those two sources, click the link, join the league. Yeah, I mean, uh, <laughs> so I explained to Lindsay, 
girlfriend for everyone that doesn't know i was explaining how there's soccer during the summer then there's soccer during the year and she's like no when's the season end i'm like oh no that already ended it's a this is something else <laughs> and then in two years it's a different thing but then there's like other things that overlap. like during breaks it's called yeah. international breaks and she was so you just they just play all year round <laughs> like it's called having Do they, money yeah. they, get like, <laughs> they get like three weeks off a year like if you it's insane if you break it down without that that Christmas break, that's why Spain's absolutely killing. Those guys come back fresh. Germany does it as they well. They take siestas during the day. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> that rests up you know midday. What, that's true. Um, but EPL is going to do that. I think it's not this season, but the following season there's going to be a winter break. But they'll figure out a way to stack the games anyway. Yeah, I don't know what play. they're going to do for the World I, Cup the, for Qatar because that's going to be played in the winter. But, so, the, but the whole the whole. Every league's gonna be taking a certain sabbatical. Yeah, mm. when the World Cup, it's just such league, bullshit, yeah. man. You throw the whole year upside down. The whole dude, I love it, man. Like it's it's something. You like corruption? Okay, you heard it here first, dude, people. Tequila, <laughs> tequila, uh, loves tequila, 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 tequila. government. <laughs> For sure, dude. I'm African. Love that shit. Get paid. Corruption. No, hey, but man, seriously, speak to yourself, yeah. <laughs> but seriously, um, no, man. I think it'll be a one time thing. I don't think we'll ever see this again. But I think it'll be a spectacle to be like hearing people just talk about the temperature every game, but. It won't be, you know, as high as the 140s. No, it'll uh, be nice. Fahrenheit, it'll be nice. It'll be 70s, Yeah, 80s. man, this is a weird year when you're like, yo, dude, I'm hoping grandkids shit, are your dude. kids. I like, don't mind it. I don't mind it. Just once. It's going to be interesting to see, but as far as the corruption, man, like, it's one of those things where everyone knows FIFA's been corrupt. Like, I think most of these leagues are, honestly, once you get to the top. There's just too much money involved in human nature. It never... It's like oil and water. It just doesn't mix. Well, it man. makes sense, anyways, that it's sort of corrupt because... The guys at the top, they're securing themselves with the other guys at the top to make sure none of them fall to yeah. uh, to a lower rank. Because, hey, if I'm rich, I'm going to try to keep you rich. If you try to keep me rich. And All together, right. we're going to be really rich. Welcome to well, the Joe well, Rogan Well, speaking, of, speaking, of, <laughs> speaking <laughs> of humans, you know, these migrant workers over there at Qatar are basically slaves. All right? A lot of people dying, working in extreme conditions. You know, a lot, a lot of people have died already building this shit. Well, I mean, it's needless. 115 Absolutely Fahrenheit. needless, FIFA. Why do I want to why are you laughing about that? I don't bro? know, man. It's because not it's funny, but it's like the way you, you dropped delivery. it on me right there. Delivery. I wasn't okay. expecting it to go that I got This is a bullshit World Cup, man. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not up for it. I'm going to boycott it, but I'm still going to go to it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what do we, what do we want to get into? Arsenal. Uh, this is going to be free flow. Let's talk right. about Arsenal. Let's, let's talk, talk about, about, about uh, United. new players smashing PSG 5-1 preseason here. we got some new boys in here. Arsenal official signings here. We got Socrates at center back. Ooh, stud. Torreira at center mid. That's Socrates! Yeah, Al Shinobi. boy! That's really clever. Now, yeah. now you get to watch him every week. I thought week. he was doing it sarcastically. Nah, yeah. fuck. Love this guy. I wish he came to United. Just kidding. Mm. Leno, another one. <laughs> goalkeeper. We know the situation. Oh, that's a big Aging. one. Ospina um, as well. Unsettled. Uh, Lich- Lichtensteiner. I- I that was a great signing, name. man. Lichtensteiner. That's a C- he- he's your man. best signing, man. He's got experience. He's still got wheels for days. This guy's so fast. He's going to push he's- Bellerin, too. Dude, right he's back. a leader, man. Mm. This guy has experience. He's a leader. He's a Champions League player. Not that you're in it this year, but like, like he can get you back in there and then retire. But great signing. And then I got a couple of sneaky signings here, slash youth signings. We signed this young kid, Mateo Gwendozi. Um... Good player. I've been watching him a little bit in preseason. He's got some flashes. And Lucas Perez, who's almost a forgotten man. He went out on loan. He was kind so of he's sticking around, do you think? Yeah, I think Lucas Perez, I think he'll bring him in kind of potentially as that Juru no, role. Yeah, there's no reason not to keep him, to be honest. Look, I don't know if he's good or not or Arsenal caliber, but you already have um, uh, Lacazette coming in. Exactly. And you have a Bomber Yang. So, like, if Lacazette Ozil. goes down, you move a Bomber Yang in the middle. Ramsey's no, no, I'm just saying the forward the, position. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because um, that's, that's what Perez position. plays, striker position. So, like, keep him for this year, see what he's exactly. actually got when he has a manager that believes in him. And, and I think Unai Emery was around when he was playing in La Liga as well. So, we got to see a little bit of him. But my, this is my main take for Arsenal this season. Um, I, I haven't really heard anyone say this. Um, and that is, Arsenal is not going to be soft this year. I don't know where we're going to finish. I don't know if it's going to be top four. I'm hoping for, you know, obviously that we win the league. But... I mean, it will take a lot for that to happen, and as well, win the Europa League. If that doesn't happen, okay, as long as we secure a Champions League spot. But I just think that we're not going to be soft. Well, Look, you, that's my main you, thing you, for you Arsenal gotta, this year. I think the manager change was huge because you have a you have a talented squad. I mean, not not a lot of depth, but you've you've added to that Socrates. Uh, but you got Lacazette, Aubameyang, Mkhitaryan, who is you know seventy thirty on a good day. Um, this team could be serious. 
It could be, th- I mean, threatening to the top six for sure, man. Obama Yang but I, th- I think the mentality, the mentality change could yeah. really be a big factor in this squ- in this squad. You See know? him on the bench having fun. They're like high fiving. We're seeing like more training sessions for Arsenal now. And well, I, I think there was a lot of be soft. the monkeys off the back. I mean, there's a lot of relief, just like a good fresh That's air sure. at Arsenal. Um, and not only that, look, you got Leno, which is nice. You got Socrates. I know. What uh, that and then you also have. Um, a Bamiang or a Lacazette up the middle right there but the one position you guys really need to go after was the central midfield maybe a holding midfielder because you guys have not been able to uh, find a player to take over that role in we like got the Lucas last six Ferreira, years but he's tiny he's like but five, again, six. I mean, I want Zonzi yes but Steve. Yeah, I agree. With but I mean, you have um, Ramsey, who's also linked with something like he, Chelsea. He's not a holding. Don't forget. Well, I know what I'm saying is that's there. another midfielder Almini player. Where is also that they like bodies. It's not the quality I want per se, but I think the board's also limiting how much Unai Emery could spend. Yeah, I think he's done spending. You said he's done spending unless a big name becomes available. Yeah. Um, yeah. if Shaka played like he plays for Switzerland, would it's you still good. want him? Yeah. Cool. Look, Shaka's a baller would when he's he be, on his game. Would he be the dude for that position? Like, yeah, potentially, because okay. he can shoot from distance. He can distribute well. Now, so in he the has summer, to work on the defensive part of this game. So next summer, if he plays like he did for Switzerland, next summer you'll be like, that position is not a concern anymore. I'm it just depend- trying to figure that out. That will depend on how Lucas Torreira translates. If he's cool. the new Conte, but Uruguayan, the South American Conte, then I'm cool with it. But if Torreira looks like a bust, he's, too, he's not as physical as he should be yeah. for the league... Then I'd be like, okay, we need to like a Patrick Vieira type of physique. Dude, you need to get Steven and Zonzi in there, man. Yeah, you should. He, he's got a release That's clause. Um, it's like 35, 36 like thirty-six million. Mm. That's it's nothing crazy. in you today's know? market. But they're saying that Chelsea won't get rid of Bakayoko, who they just brought in for forty million euro uh, pounds. Uh, so Chelsea's looking at him to bring in Zonzi in. Rome was looking at Steven and Zonzi, and also, which would be fucking awesome, Crystal Palace <laughs> looking to it. hijack this deal. London it. rivals. The release clause. That so English yeah, it's just well, a release clause. I wouldn't be surprised him. if PSG go go after him a little bit because if they le- lose um, Rabio to Barcelona, Rabio even bring they, they still Inzanzi. need him without him because yeah. even Thi- Thiago Mata has been there forever. He's just he's not and, where he should and be the, now. And the big thing is he's with that him, release clause, he's a bargain with this market right now because an average player that's pretty good is what like 30, 55 to sixty mil. It was reported Unai Emery like. Called him, wished him, congratulated him after the World Cup. You know, had a little conversation, kind of got his ear a little bit. Maybe my a wife's bit of available. Uh, yeah, yeah. We <laughs> now we have a wine and cheese, and you know, dildo fest if you want, whatever. You know, get weird. Dildo. It was suggested that he was gonna come over potentially to Arsenal, but the board has cut him off from spending, and that's my issue Why with Arsenal though? now. If you're gonna do it, go all out for this guy because. Arsenal have the money for the most part. Like yeah, you know what it dreams, is? Bro. It's, it's the owner, dude. He doesn't want to spend the money. He owns three other f- or two other franchises, like a sports teams. LA so Rams, like, they're building a stadium as well. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So it's just, unfortunately, that's where the accountants step in or the finance dudes step in and say, look, I, I know you want to build this dream right away, but we just financially, we can't. Yeah, but I mean, uh, me- Arsenal is also an linked. opportunity. Which means Arsenal have a great chance this year, but will they have the gas? You know, to go the that's distance. What it comes and down that's to the problem. So it's like it's g- the whole season can be a wash. You, cool, you finished in fifth or sixth again. Like, what was the point? Like, like we, we, we accomplished it, nothing depth. this year. If, yeah. you know? if, if we finish fifth or sixth, we better win Europa. Because yeah, I that's, know that's, Arsenal fans will be upset. You better win League Cup. You challenge for that. You better challenge for all the domestic cups and, and go far in Europe. Otherwise, complete waste of a season. If you, and it all comes with not signing players, which I'm afraid switch to United if, if we can. Not signing. I mean, we signed Fred right out of the gates. I was like, all right, fuck yeah. Pre-World Cup signing. Yeah, let's go this, United. This is what's up. <laughs> this is what's <laughs> up. Tom's fucking grin, dude. I mean, as, so it, as it looks right now, yeah, right. it's but, going but to be down to Arsenal and to- uh, Tottenham for that fourth place in my mind. But I'm saying United, like, they're going to fall into that job. Tottenham, Spurs, not signing anybody. Pochettino such a fool, man. This guy, time Bro. and again, he's made this mistake two years in a row now. Well, Vincent he's Jansen linked with Martial. That's it. Ooh, that's a hot one, Huss. Let's talk about that. It just merge the Spurs United shit together. The man who never smiles. Mm. I've seen him smile. He's got funny teeth. Well, <laughs> on his signing day, and then he hasn't smiled since. I didn't smile that day. Um, look, we talked about Jose United when he first came in saying the third year, things are going to start to blow up because it always do. It seems to with... And he's coming out before the season saying he won't even watch his team. He's basically he's already like, talking about the players. Talking about Pogba after the World Cup, is he setting um, a good a good stance with his players right now? Is he setting a Huss. bar, or is he digging them a ditch? Huss, I think he's he's digging setting, a ditch. I think he's setting himself up 
to basically if he loses a job it's not his fault if United doesn't perform, it's not his fault as a player. So, like, he is. He's digging a ditch. But we saw that at Chelsea. See what happened with Chelsea. I mean, they, they fell off. He went away. You just bring in a different personality. They won the next year. To me, he's yeah. breaking a cardinal rule of managing. And I use the term managing for a reason because you're really trying to deal with grown men's psyches here. And that is you don't want to throw, especially being that leader, a, a, a person under the bus publicly. Mm. If you're in a locker room, you're a team, you can whatever happens in there. That's the dirty laundry. You never want to air exactly. your dirty laundry. And if you do, it's for a specific reason to a specific individual to get a specific response. It seems to Jose just to kind of. It doesn't seem to be tactical anymore. It just kind of seems that's, to be like he's using emotion a lot of the time. That's why I'm guessing. Um, that's why I'm guessing that it's to protect his own ass. That's it. Yeah. Like I think that's that's what it is. As you're right, like this is not really how you motivate a team. Like the season, I knew it was going to be bad when after the World Cup, right after the World Cup, they ask him about Pogba, and it's not a fully congratulatory response from him. He's like, "Well, if he plays like that for United, then you know it'll be great. Like that's what I'm looking for." It's like, dude, like at least acknowledge this player. Like, save that for later. Yeah, the, man. Or save that like, to say it in if his If he plays like life. this, he can be the best player in the world. Even if it's something like that. But it's just like. It's so negative. Uh, well, it's, I think he's doing it for himself. Not that he's given up on the job or anything. But he's setting himself up. He's a guy with a reputation. Last couple, you know, jobs haven't been too great for him. Finishing 10th with Chelsea and then the United project. I still have faith in this guy. That said, man. I think. There's going to be a lot of players that, like, you know, are very unhappy midway through the season or at the end of the season want to leave. Guys like Martial, Here's who the at some point is going to say enough. Here's the transfer bomb I'm hearing, and it has to do with Martial and Toby Aldevald, a potential swap-flip deal between United and Spurs here. I don't want that, dude. Don't don't get this guy. Don't leave this guy in the country, man. Get him get him back to France or Spain, Germany. But what MLS. about Toby? That said, Fuck Toby. I'll take Harry Maguire. Let's go, baby. De- <laughs> our defense isn't our problem, man. Like, our, our creative midfielder, uh, that's you, our problem. You, our, like, we need we need help there. You need we, a center back. No, we don't need we a center hay, back. Man. Like, if we didn't have yeah. the hay, we have to hay it. Jones, Smalling, Lindelof, my my bad. Let me, let those me, four. In order to enough. win the league, you need a world-class center back. Let me qualify no. that. Baye could be that dude. I the way he was yeah, playing exactly. that year before he was injured. Who? Lindelof. No, you said you need one, and you yeah. do need no, no, one. No, no, no. I mean, like, one next to Bailly. Because to me, Bailly is not there Jones, yet. He's a Lindel- Lindel- no, no. It's, like, it's going to be Lindelof and, and Bailly. And, uh, I'm, I'm a bit surprised that Rojo hey, is on the okay. No, no. Fucking, what's his name? The guys you guys love. Maguire wasn't ready last year. And just like that, he turned it on for the World Cup. So, like, same thing okay. could happen Lindelof turned it on for the World Cup. Took Sweden far. He was stand-up performances. Sweden's back line was impenetrable. Yeah, man. People judge He's grown in confidence. Too harsh One year under his belt now at United. I think it's going to be him and by Smalling Jones on the bench. You still got Marcus Rojo. That's five uh, decent to, to quality players. You know, quality being Eric Bai. Defense is fine. Fuck Toby, dude. He's almost 30. You need, you need Martial. You cheap, but you can't trade Martial for no. him. If, if, you get, if you get him cheap, what, have well, Martial's money. unhappy because I was about to say, what if Martial? Martial no, is, but how do you know? It, it, well, no, no, okay. Jose. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Just like I don't know if I'm going to live tomorrow. But, you know, I'm hoping. I'm betting on the chances. And from the reports that have been there, he's unhappy with his playing time. Can we say that? Yeah. yeah. He's, not, he's fed up with his playing time. Yeah, I don't know every how he time he gets a chance, unfortunately for him, it doesn't work out. So then Jose whips him again. So... But Jose said if we sell Martial, it's not in the country. Like, he refuses to sell to we in the f- Premier League. I mean, to sell so we t- still might sell him. We sell him to France, Italy, or Spain. Man, but what, you get nothing in return. What if they're not willing? You get money. You get money, dude. You get money. But he will be a free Don't want to trade. You're going to give Marsh- talk to Martial. You, you Tottenham who finished get? third you're last get, year. But you're going you're gonna to take that L on him in terms of profits because you bought him for 60. So now dude, we could take he, he didn't even make the World Cup team. He's not really playing for United. So his value decreases automatically. We could so take that out a, a on him being 15, in team potentially million. You could take because you are not taking that into account as well. No, no, for sure. But you could take the talent loss. For me, it's more about the talent loss. You don't want to give that kind of talent to the league. Look at Chelsea when they gave United Matic. They they suffered, dude. You can't sell Giroud. Is looking problematic at Chelsea now. Now that he's at a different team, in a great World Cup, yeah, it motivates you differently. So 100%. like, I agree. I want to keep Martial. I want to keep Martial. You still don't think. For Toby, he's the guy. No. As much as you love Toby. I love Toby, no. dude, but I'm not going to give... Toby's old. If Toby was 28, 27, yeah, let's do 24. it. 24. How old's Toby? He's 29. He's, 29. he's always pushing he's 30, bro. 30 now. Look, his, to me, his injuries are and an that issue. Too, dude. But, man, loan out Martial. Plain and, and simple. Just loan him out. 
I'm surprised, man. I thought you'd like this guy, especially as Toby, a center back. I do, but not for our center back. That's what I said. If we want to pay, pay the man. Pay the man. Pay the club. He's Ooh, got man. a release clause too. Like it's not. I don't. I don't understand why this hasn't gone through. Plain and simple. Maybe Jose is not sold on him personally. You're talking Injuries, maybe while Injuries. we're at the center back position. United what about looking at Yerry Mina? As well, I would love so, that. What, what if, what if you United need a guy like that, man? I'm telling you. What if this is Tom, uh, him, this is Tom's boy? You need it. What if instead of going to Spurs, Martial heads over to PSG to get some leverage with Kimbembe, the center yeah, back? Yeah, but Hus, like now you just look. That could happen, but it wouldn't make sense to me because of playing time. I look at like Neymar's playing left wing forward. And if not, then who's he fighting with? Di Maria? So well, I'm thinking next year, too, where PSG might be going ahead of time because one of them, between Mbappe and Neymar, I wouldn't be surprised if one of them were gone next year for PSG. Yeah, but PSG is trying to win a Champions League, and Martial hasn't shown that yet. Potential is he's there. good to come off the bench for PSG. Yeah, but going, gonna be he happy. won't want he's to do that. He won't leave a bench the, situation the for a room. bench. Exactly. He won't leave a bench for a bench. Sense. Wherever he goes next might be a slight step down, so it might be... I don't know. Uh, no, Athletic. Monaco. Not really. No, not Villarreal. Monaco. It could be back to Monaco. He can't go to Atletico because you got uh, Lamar not and, and yeah, Martin. Yeah, I said not that's Atletico. Yeah, step Villa, up, honestly. He could go to Valencia, right now, Villarreal. He could go to AC Milan, Inter Milan. Like, he's got places to go. I don't think he's going to go like United to Juventus. He go to Spurs. I, if, but if you, if but you, they won't sell him to Spurs. He could, 100%. He better not do that. They depending man. on what happens in People Italy. Yeah. If Napoli lose somebody, I could see him going over there, being he, one of those. Or guys. Napoli, dude, or wherever he can go wherever he wants, but he can't go to that top tier club. PSG won't take him right now unless he has a crazy season this year. And oh, there's the potential again. He's back if he has another mediocre season. Fireworks outside, uh, ladies well, and gentlemen. If you guys remember in the Euro, Euro twenty fire. Euro twenty sixteen, France again made it to the final and lost. But Martial was criticized by Deschamps during that tournament, like, criticized when he came on, didn't have enough, didn't have the mental fortitude. Face, dude, that's, but, that's like, I mean, it's not guy. just Jose who saw this having had problems with getting motivating him and getting, getting him to play to his best. I think it's within him. He's got a personal problem he's got to work through. Yeah, and that's what Jose might be seeing, and he's just trying to, like, beat it out well, of Jose's him. a tough guy. He's not going to – no he's drama. No drama. I mean, only drama around himself, play. but, like, he's not going to wait and baby. He was like, dude, like, let's go. That let's brings, up, let's go. That brings yeah. up another point about Jose where I read uh, – True, it's a Homer paper, but at the same time, they compared Klopp and Jose the way he talked about the younger players. Jose will go after them. Klopp's putting the arm around them. And you can see the atmosphere. I'm not saying Liverpool's going to finish above United or they United's going to uh, finish. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I'm not going to predict the standards because each team is different. But, yeah, but yeah, what yeah. I'm saying is in <laughs> three years from now, is it more likely Klopp's with Liverpool or Jose with United? Oh, dude. I Jose, really, I sincerely don't know the answer. Jose, yeah. no, I think Jose's a hitman, dude. He always has been. I think if things go well, he'll stay at United. But odds are, if I was a betting man and I had to bet today, I'd say Klopp's staying. They're going to give Klopp three or four seasons to fail. Like Liverpool. Because he just got a Champions League no, final. Exactly. Yeah, with, Klopp, with, Klopp, Klopp, with, Klopp, with Klopp, Klopp now, Klopp's on the clock. You like that? Now it's do or die. <laughs> if he goes three seasons without another trophy... They could take all right, dude. You built a great squad. Who's next? Who's out there? Oh, yeah. Pep's available. Pep, come on down. Like now is no jokes. Jose called them out recently, saying, "All right, like, I mean, you spent spent two hundred fifty million this summer alone, plus seventy five in the winter for Van Dyke. It's a lot of money. You guys are a proper team now. Every position has been bolstered. You still got some young guys coming through. Like this is the year you got to win something. You got a challenge for the league." No more. Oh yeah, Man City beat Ch- be Liverpool, but you know Liverpool played well. It's like no, but Liverpool choked. They should have beat Man City. Like they got to take some flack this to season. Me, to me, dude, that, that's why like both of them, I I view them as like burnout coaches. Who? Klopp and Mourinho. Burnout. Yeah, meaning that I don't think that they're at their best when they're with the club five plus years. Well, the, yeah, no, Klopp's with the the team duty for seven to eight years between Mons and uh, Dortmund. You're going off a two team. History is it because his he he seems to be like that guy you the high press you work so no, hard no, constantly no, that he like, could stay that like Klopp players kind of seem to he could burn stay out while, a little bit because his energy is like it's it's like a, it's like a gift and a curse almost it's that, like that eight, years, eight years eight uh, years for for Klopp and then he hasn't actually promised anything after Liverpool's contract is up he said he very well might just think about but walking think, away I think Klopp's gonna be more like Pep. Except he has to win something to get that cloud to just slide from club to club. Yeah. Like he needs Pep, that Champions can't be, League. He also is turning out into like a, a four or five year coach. He was at Bayern four years. I know the mission was to win Champions League, so mm-hmm. maybe he walked away thinking you know the missions failed or whatever, or Bayern kicked him out or pushed him out a little bit. But I don't like to your point. The the it, it's so intense that 
it's either you have to, and this you is keep flipping plays. Then, exactly. Isn't it? But this is what Fergie was brilliant at. That's what made Fergie the greatest in the world. I mean, we went from the Dennis Irwin era to like you know Valencia era. We're taking right mids and converting them because we want to play get more attack out of that position. So that's because he's one of the genius. best. But your coach is this a genius. Is, this is the level. Like if you yeah. want to be on that level in that game, you got to be able to flip your squad over time. I think Pep could do it. Klopp. I think he's still too young. I think Klopp still has a lot to prove. I think he wins something with Liverpool and moves on to Real Madrid, Barcelona, like Bayern Munich even, because he is German. He might have the Bayern job, and now you really get to see what Klopp's about. He Actually, might, instead, instead of Bayern, I could see him taking over Germany instead. I don't think so. He's too intense. He loves. He, he, they've asked him but, about the job. He loves working with the players every day. Like That's where he gets his rocks off. And that's why, like, a lot of managers who are who would be good for, like, the world stage, they will say, I don't want to do it because I get to see these guys once every two months or so. Establishing chemistry is difficult. That's what By he way, does, Buzz, yeah. Man, you bullshitting me, bro. <coughs> um, um, well, hold on. He's at Dortmund for four years, bro. Yeah. Dortmund? 2008 to yeah. 2012. Damn, so and then too. from Mainz. Awesome. When you said eight, I was like, no nah, way. He was at I thought he was there eight. for seven or eight. It was Mainz no where he was at there for a little bit longer. He's an eight-year coach. Mm. By the way, speaking of Claude, man, uh, big shout out to his teeth. Got, got, <laughs> you see that <laughs> shit, fresh dude. Ones. Got his f- new teeth there from Eno. Can't be making Can, that much money. Dude, he's got some like refer- some teeth. referral sure. kickback from Eno, you know, bro. Like, hey, hey, check this place out. They're getting kickbacks all day, man. <laughs> Yo, Incredible. Liverpool, though, man. These guys, to me, if you want to ask the question, who's had the best transfer window thus far? Here we go. Ready? For Klopp, 2001 to 2008 for Mons. 2008 to 2015 for Dortmund, seven and seven. What? Tom, are you losing? House? Well, this was an assistant coach. Hush is right. Hush is right. Yeah. I'll take well, let's go. Let's go. I also Wikipedia. No, you probably looked up his brother. Oh, <laughs> oh, he's got a picture oh. of him, dude, <laughs> right here. Yeah, while well, you guys talk about that, Liverpool Tell is. This guy? Liverpool That's his picture. is you know absolutely like? dominating the God transfer God. window, man. But that's <laughs> – Jose sees it too, and that's why he came out and he said that. It's Jose mind game starting already. Him and Klopp have never, you know, really been tight. They haven't had beef or anything. But, I mean, this is do or die, like Al was saying. For, yeah, you right, Hus. For uh, – <laughs> You can't blow my spot up, dude. acknowledge that. My bad, bro. <laughs> this <laughs> is it for Klopp. You got to win something. Look, winning the league I think is going to be tough. I love this pressure uh, on Liverpool now, though. But you got to handle the pressure. You got to at least an FA Cup. They at beat least City again Cup. preseason, and look, I'm well, not trying different, to beat City different. three times. I'm not trying to re- in read, overread into it, but when that team, it's almost as if City psychologically like shit. They might these they guys, man. When we when they play against us, they just you always have that team. Every great team has that team. But that, that City that team, team, that yeah. City team this year, I mean this summer, is not the City team. It's all young players. I mean, the only player that was. Um, Looked like a star player was Mares for okay, City. Okay, yeah. like in preseason. No, yeah, preseason. Turned, yeah. no I don't no, look. I'm no, not even reacting to the result. I'm just looking at it like, and look, even some people are like, oh, don't look at last season. I'm like, okay, but majority of the players from last season are, are here. And although there'll be a new attitude, a new approach to it, Dude, many the w- system was just the way well, the, the coaches match up against Klopp, each other too. Forget about the teams. Klopp has had success yeah. against Pep even in Germany. That's the big thing for me. So I think Liverpool, man, they've had the best window. Allison at goalkeeper. They, they addressed their spine. Fabinho at defensive mid, center mid. Naby Keita, center mid. Shakiri in case Salah, God forbid, Salah goes down with a horrendous injury. Now you got a guy like Shakiri. He knows the league. He can translate into the system. I don't know how long Shakiri's going to be impactful before going forward. Like, I mean, I rate him, but I don't rate him like that highly. You know, I don't know if he. Ha- I really don't know if he has that star stuff. I just think he's a good Dude, I don't player. Think, yeah, I don't think he needs star stuff. It's like Mari's going to to Man City. But is he gonna like, be is he gonna be good playing like once every two weeks? You know, like as a sub. That's the challenge. Dude. Like that's, he he, need, like, he plays it week in week out, and like I'm not saying his mentality will be affected, but like physically. Dude, it could be because he left Bayern like with a bit of shame as far as like his work rate. Did you, know, you like, guys he, see he his goal against there. United? It was a great bike. That little man. overhead. Oh my god! Great good. bike. I'm saying, man. Do you, and, and for me, he didn't flex, knows, though. Like you were talking about, he'll bring his he'll put his arm around him. You know what I mean? It's not so much like Josie was like, fight for your place. If you make it, you don't. It's like, doggy dog, it's more like a family. Like, look, you'll like, be rotated. Okay, so You're part of my plan. To, to add on to that, how many plays did Liverpool lose this year? One, Chan. Cause yeah, Emre Chan to Juventus. I mean, yeah, they, they, they sold other players, but... You got Nadine, you got the Brazilian maybe, guy. Maybe uh, sending out kids on loan, they might sell... Danny Ings, but to me, if they can use that money, if they can get twenty mil, which it's reported Yo, Star- for, Sturridge is coming back. Yeah, if they can get hilarious. twenty-seven mil for 
Uri, Uri and, Divok, Uri, and, and, and Lazar, 20, Markovic. if they can get 47 mil for Uri and Ings when they sell, that's a win in my book for Liverpool. You, you want to get, get rid of Origi? I think Who's your backup center forward? If Firmino goes, I was down, a little weary. Salonga. I was a, I was a little weary of Origi coming in, but I mean Solanke oh, and Sturridge. Yeah, yeah Sturridge, Sturridge, Sturridge is going to stay back. this year. He's not going to get sold. Okay, but he's going to get hurt. I, I mean, I'm sorry, Danny. I, Danny, 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 like I love your game, your bro. Boy. Look, I love your you game, what, Danny Sturridge. Hey, I love your game. I'll tell you. I'll tell you then. But you know, you're not durable. I'll tell you. So I'm okay. I mean, I don't want to see Firmino go down, obviously. But because you can switch the formations around, have Salah go up top. If you can sell those guys, I am more than happy of them going in for 65 mil for the team that just put the price tag on a young 19-year-old from America, Christian What's her name? Pulisic. Oh. oh, no, but that's like fantasy life right now. now that's not fantasy people. life. They put a 65 mil I'm just, pound um, look, it price might tag happen. on it, Go I'm get him. I'm just saying, if... You, we we enter the season with these squads we currently have because Liverpool, if we look at it honestly, looks like you guys have done most of your business for the summer. You guys spent like well, two hundred million. Woodburn, and, keep him. And get rid of. I, lo- I actually love Woodburn, and you got Robertson. You have some good youth youth quality bleeding I through. I still like Origi. But I mean, let's let's just note like the reason why Liverpool had you know the reason why they had this beautiful summer spending spree. Us, because it's law. No. What? Why they have this? Coutinho. Well, yeah, that's you got 142 million out the door, man. That's why you're able to buy. Yeah. After this, I mean, they capped, dude. 60. They broke the record. 65 million for a goalie. Yeah, it's a good call. But uh, dude, they, they, that was a position. If they didn't make that sip for Coutinho, you still got bum you know, goalies. You're still leaking goals when you shouldn't. Allison is a guy for the future. It's a young mother, young dude. Shirt up the midfield. But you know, you should have said motherfucker. They got another. I was gonna say motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> but like, dude, like, yeah, that's fine. But they got another dude, one in the chamber. You, get, you bro. got Allison. They got two. Dyke, uh, Allison Van Dyke, Naby, or Henderson. I still, Dude, they think got one in the chamber. They got away. another hundred and fifty million dollar player in the chamber, and oh. at any time they can pull it. Salah, Salah, yeah. He could leave in Salah two years. Like, nah, he's like two right now. Okay, whatever. Either way, minimum one hundred and fifty. Yeah. Like, so that's another Coutinho bullet ready yeah. to go. So or, like, this team could be serious. Or Mane. I mean, no, he's Mane's been not like, No, 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 no. But I mean, I'm saying he's. A hundred? Yeah. No, he's yeah. not. Mane's yeah. not a hundred. In my mind, yeah, I could. In see your that. mind, yes, yeah, so that was. I don't see. I don't. I don't. You're, you're, you're close Liverpool, to that, but Liverpool. it's going to be I'm decent not money. He's not close. I'm not to saying no he way won't have a season potentially where all of a sudden he just goes if he bananas. Balls this season, yeah, but he's a hundred. His current value twenty goals is not of a hundred mil, bro. Not his current value. I think he is forty. He means that much. His stock is. It will. It will. It will take that type of. It will take that type of fee to get him away from Liverpool because he means that much. You got Liverpool bed sheets, huh? I got. <laughs> yeah, oh, you will probably sleep with Mane pajamas on, dude. You got, a whole, you got a whole set. <laughs> no, I got one of those. Uh, you know the pillows. You know, like the the WWE wrestlers used to have those pillows. Yeah, yeah, the Mane yeah. one. Let's see, let's see, let's see how much he got I signed for from Liverpool. Let's see. He was thirty six or thirty seven or thirty eight. Man, Liverpool yeah. to me, man, they're yeah. killing it. Let's let's talk about shitty ass Man U so, though. So didn't Salah around that price? But oh man, but um. Shoot, when 30, we're 34, yeah. Yeah, I mean, the bank. They, the they'll get, it'll get 45 off the door, maybe 50 tops. Like he, his stock is dropped. Nah, dude, he's, I think he's, he's 70. If 70. you can get Virgil he's, van Dijk, unproven boy, for 75. I give him 60, 55. I say 70. 55, 55, 55 for money. Yeah. If they're trying to sell him, man, who's going to. I mean, dude, Real Madrid was sniffing at him. I don't know how true that is, but like Real Madrid was looking at him. So once they once rumors start to get associated, I just, I just don't rate Mane, man. Clubs, I, I know rate, you don't. I rate him. His I, I, thing I, I, has for, to be better. But like his that's d- his problem. Uh, who we compare him to? We compare dude. him to Sane. Sane's be- uh, will Sa- be better. Sa- Sane's, Sane's, Sane's maturity and his selflessness and his ability to just you know be dude. a teammate. Where Mane, I'm shooting, I'm going to goal. It works for you, but sometimes Look, I think with a team that you have at Liverpool, pass the fucking ball, dude. I they just gave does, they just man. gave him the number ten jersey last he's season. T- I think was very hard for him because Coutinho left. He's like, it's my turn. I'm and ready Salah's to be that exploding. dude, and then Salah explodes. So you can see that frustration, selfishness, competitiveness. But this season, they give him the number ten. Klopp has his arm around him. You know how else all I he has to do quality? is be a little less unselfish. Look at his performances in the World Cup. Like, look at him as a baller. Like, when he he's played against the best maybe. competition out there, like he was a game changer in my opinion. And that's that's the term I like he to use because he may not give you all the stats that you want, or he may not make the best decisions. Sometimes his touch is like awkwardly raw. Does he change the game? Does he influence the game? His speed stretches defenses 100%. Strength. And then he's strong enough to hold off guys. And then, honestly, his, his, his final product is pretty good for a winger. Yeah. His you know decision what I mean? is what hurt him this year. Yeah. And I think that was just frustration. Dude, Mane, for me, he's quality. He's but 70. He's, he's not world class. I think this is the year we're going to see it, if he is. If he's about this life, this is the season. And I think we will, man. I think... 
if the, dude, I honestly, he'll yo, be a hundred. For Liverpool me, that's scary right. This year. That's why for me, he's at seventy. And I'm saying, if he has a twenty and ten or twenty and twelve, let's say t- twenty goals, ten to fifteen assists, dude, I think he jumps to a hundred million from there. Whether someone will take him, twenty I don't fifteen, know. he could with that team around him. Just, yo, Absolutely, man. Scary, you got Sane who who was we'll see, nearly we'll see, up we'll there. We'll see how his injury record goes this year. Now it looks yeah, like he's breaking sure. down. That's what and I was just looking up, actually. Let's yeah, not forget when down. there was the AFCON. He left for the whole month of January. Liverpool didn't win a game for that month of January. So like that Zaha shit. That's says <laughs> shit, man. That's <laughs> that says shit. shit. But he's not a hundred million dollars yet. No, seventy never, mil. Never. Look at that. Boom. Yeah, transfer but market as it at seventy. Transfer, I get it. transfer I get market. It. I'm just enjoying the seventy. Bro. Yeah, I was gonna say because transfer market, yeah, I usually it. hold at a low level for the tra- because they usually go up. Yeah, that's why I go uh, to sixty. So if, he, if they rate him at seventy, I could see him getting sold for ninety then because he means that much to Liverpool. But then again, yeah. I don't see him getting sold at all, which yeah. I'm really happy about. You he might be a um, lifer for the, you guys. Look, we talked about um, the midfield before. I really like Wijnaldum. I don't know why I've heard people talk about. Getting rid of him because that's asinine. That's depth. You finally player. have depth. That, he's exactly. he's a great player. He may not get you those yeah. away goals you know that what? everyone makes jokes about. That's fine, but he gets goals at home you here and there. That. He doesn't get that much, but and his athletic ability to yeah. track back to shut down the passing lanes. He's a system player. Too. You, know, you know why he's great? Yep. You know why he's great? Because he came from Newcastle. He's Dutch. Ah, that's true. I like it's that. In the brain. Tom but, oh, okay. I was just gonna get into the the main reason. Um, I'm really happy about Liverpool summer is because we saw already what they did with the Luis Suarez money. We saw what the Spurs did with the Gareth Bale the money. Spurs, uh, the Spurs, whatever. Oh, it's uh, San Antonio. Yeah, <laughs> it's always the Spurs. China so, <laughs> so we saw what they did with the money. Both teams with that original money was it four years ago, five years ago. They bought a lot of Mediocre. lower lower players. James Milner. A lot of up and coming quote unquote <laughs> players. This time. You Liverpool didn't have a round. You learned from your lesson. Yeah, no, you they got the money. Is? They actually got it was a Brendan field of young, versus talented Klopp. players. You know what it was, man, for Tottenham? Why they didn't spend stadium, bro. That's why they haven't bought yeah. any players. They're going to try to get some bargain players here and there just to get fresh legs in. It was the Arsenal and bargain. No, uh, Spurs did get a lot of players in. They got like seven players or eight players that summer, I thought. I'll have to check that no, out. Yeah, that's summer. But, but I'm saying this summer, this the summer, reason they have zero. The, they're oh, no, no, I'm not, I'm not talking about Spurs this summer. I'm talking about back then, those two teams, when they got a lot of money, which Liverpool did from the Coutinho move, is that they didn't spend it on a lot of lower, quote-unquote, up-and-coming players. No, but they did. It's... Not, Virgil me, was up and coming. We we saw okay, he's gonna be good, but he was up and coming. Um, not like not like um, what's his name in your midfield? Fabinho up and coming. Dude. Yeah, but no, like, that's me, different than I'm, I'm talking uh, about like Andy Carroll and like Christian Benteke. No, those no, no, guys yeah, but are those like were, flops that they learned from. Yeah, but no, but that um, was unlucky. Markovic, uh, uh, Markovic. Yeah, that's the dude. From he City. was supposed to be. No, no, no. He, he, not he, not was, from, he got like he got loaned to Hull City. Yeah, he got loaned to Hull City. Yeah, he yeah. came from um, maybe Stoke. Was Benfica. Benfica. Yeah, you're right. You're right. But he was the guy that's like, oh, this is the guy. But they bought like 20 mil. They bought uh, like five or ten people. So I meant a dollar package. Those guys look. Liverpool has been to me notoriously shitty at spending their money in the correct places. I think this summer the first with time. a dude like Fabinho, I think he's a good player, man. Like he can play right back. He can play D mid. He's versatile. Um, Look, Brazilian he, international all, but, guy. But like, again, these are guys who could all turn out like Carol, is my point, and Benteke. They could, I, honestly. I, I, other they than Alisson, who we, we see him for, for Brazil, we see mm. him for 50 games for Roma before. Like, uh, we Fabinho, see, no, no, Champions Fabinho, League, Monaco winning the league. Everything. I get it, it's, but no there doubt are other it's players. Up. It's That's a step up. Yeah. Yeah. These up. are still potential. These aren't proven, tried and true proven talents they haven't had three or four seasons of just playing above their levels they haven't but, but you they know what, progress you know nicely what, where though. they currently are sitting in terms of their overall and their potential, potential yeah, is better than Andy higher, Carroll yeah. and Christian Benteke and Danny Ings like those guys but Benteke just, had over 20 goals for two seasons you're always looking for a homegrown talent everyone legit. thought he was going to be Harry Kane Yeah. Andy Carroll scored the most headers and that time they were playing the Brendan Rodgers system of getting it out to Sterling Look, there was a reason they bought them in. But like, but there's also a reason it didn't work out. But five years ago, like, yeah, to me, they, 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 out of all the strikers in the world, that's who you went for. The one, the one player is really worried about that Liverpool was highly linked with was Lanzini. Uh, I like the player. Dude, is he is he top four Coutinho type of player? 5, so bro. when it comes down to <laughs> it, who's po- who point five? I just realized Lanzini, said that Coutinho point five. Yeah, really is. Four or five years ago, Liverpool would have bought that type of player rather than you got a Lallana. Yeah. Lallana was that guy, but he's, he's injury prone now. L- Lanzini and Lallana play the same type of game. 
No. Very shifty, yeah. very smooth. Like I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm not like talking a, about. I'm talking about this transfer season and five years ago when he ha- they got all that money from Suarez. You got Lalana like four years ago. Yeah, you're saying yeah. you're. La- he's saying you're. I like Lanzini the quality. Was Lalana? No, yeah, Lalana yeah. and Lanzini were similar. Oh, okay. So you agree with me? They're the same okay. guy. Yeah. He disagrees. No, he, because I said they would have. Well, they, they, they don't need Lanzini because they already have Lanzini. Hmm. You know what I mean? Except he's just injury prone. They, they were highly linked to make Lanzini, Coutinho. Let's see how many times we can say Lanzini. Lanzini. <laughs> Lanzini, Lanzini, Lanzini. <laughs> Tell me you were saying United's shitty transfer window so far. Bro, United is shit, um, and your window has been even shittier. I don't understand what is going on here. Um, Fred got the business done early, and even Fred, to me, did not Did he get a minute? I don't think he got a minute no. at the World no. Cup. Injury. Yeah. Injury. But that's good. That's good. Yeah, he's, he's just, injury. He's actually just trained for the first time today then. Yeah, he, he was in line to boys. start and play games, but he was injured. Lee Grant, goalkeeper. All right. Third string. You know? Quality. Yeah, that's all right. Third Quality. string. But again, it's another one where it's like... It means nothing. Romero may get sold, so they have him kind of in the interim. Exactly. If the head gets hurt, it it's kind of a weird one. And means then the golden boy. Diego... Dalot is the right yep. back. You yeah, guys baby. just signed. Yep. Um, the future Porto. of football. He's this injured kid. though right now. He's expected He's back the next pretty Cafu. soon. He's expected back like around September. Well, 3rd. I believe in it, dude. Yeah, well, I'll, you got to slow down. Nah. <laughs> this dude, nineteen-year-old nah. right back. Okay, that's fine, dude. Cafu, Give me Andreas, arm, Andreas Pereira to me is the sneaky guy. Banged in a free dude, kick. I've been calling this dude out for ICC years play. now. You I'm, gotta look at these things. These little things, man. Preseason, dude. You. Even his confidence always shows. Always brave. What do we struggle with in midfield? Matic would pick it up next to the center backs because you want as much space and time as possible. This kid likes to play in tight spaces. Last season, Mourinho had plans for him, and he would have got a lot, a lot he of wanted, playing time. Yeah, That's why McTominay ended up getting that he position. He just wanted that him to fight Pereira's. for his spot. By Pereira's brilliantly at the time, and I thought this was going to be his downfall. On one of the last few days of the transfer window, decided to go on loan to, to Valencia. La Liga, to Valencia. That for him, I think, was the most selfish but brilliant move for your career. Play. He said it's more important for me to play right now this year than to fight for playing time. Thank and you, now Anthony this year Marcio. he comes back ready to go. That's what I'm saying. Send these guys out on loan. There's no need dudes. to sell Martial. There's no need. Rashford, no need. But I agree with you. They should get playing time. And unless Jose is serious about giving them split time with Lukaku or seven, 7.30 kind of split, you got to send Martial on loan. Stop you know, talking about selling this kid. Sp- and speaking of like uh, our, our poor transfer policy this year, haven't really signed, a lot of, signed only three players so far. Jose is complaining. A lot of injuries, 17 as of now. Uh, Approaching August, which is Matic, the major one. That's he, wants, he wants the that World Cup. Matic in Valencia. He's gonna miss the start of the season. Matic. Um, so he wants the World Cup stars to come back from their break, like as soon as possible. Yeah. He's asking them to cut it short. Yeah, Mendy just but, came back early. But this, could, this City, I think so. this could be a blessing in disguise because we do have the youth. Like Pereira is gonna play this year, hopefully. Uh, Fosu Mensa should be playing. Uh, Tuanzebe so. should be yep. playing. Um, so by by in, uh, McTominay could be playing in that Matic role, hopefully. But also Tabith Chong. This dude, give me a breakout season for this kid. If he can get any minutes on the field, looked good preseason. Um, <laughs> is he, is he, he going to get t- minutes? We just talked about Anthony Martial, who seems to yeah, be well, a dude, higher product not getting yeah, on the field. It's all about mentality, man. This kid works. Like This kid, r- track back, slide tackles, okay. he'll well, take the ball, he'll because, challenge. Because, uh, like, McTomi- uh, McTominay. 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 McTominay, yeah. yeah. I'm just saying, if we have to lose these players, if they don't want to play, like, young players buy into the manager's philosophy better than established pros or old heads or guys who have immense talent. Young guys, Jesse Lingard, what do you want, coach? All right, get out there, do it. Play great. Like, everyone's been patting him on the back. Great World Cup, great season for him. His stock has risen considerably. So these young guys can come in and deputize for Valencia, whoever. Uh, I don't Matic. doubt that, Al. I don't doubt but I think that, that, that might save our season almost. Or for it could for kill a little us. bit of time. But can you rely on them? And you don't my know. thing is... You don't know. Mbappe at some point... They threw him in the, sh- in the shark, shark water at Monaco early in his career. Your manager doesn't tend to do that because he has little patience with youth players. Not no, he's trying to change. Jose's no. trying to change. No, but you look at Lingard but holding that position. He's the reason why we haven't got a number 10. Because him and Mata kind of deputized that position. That would have been a great one to go after a power number 10 <laughs> to help link the midfield with the defense. So, like, that's Jose right there. He said, okay, Hesse, not exactly the world-class player we need in that position, but he does what I say. He Rodriguez. gets goals here and there. What about Tabala? Yeah. You went with Juventus. That's, that's part of the reason yeah. why we don't get guys like that is because Hesse is somehow – Jose, like, before Lampard was Lampard, before Drogba was Drogba, before Terry was mm-hmm. Terry, Jose was molding these dudes. 
And every year Chelsea had money. Oscar, like, why not? <laughs> Oscar, you, you ruined Oscar. It drives me nuts with Oscar. But Dude, like, he I don't know what it is. But class. United don't seem to be able to get in the players that they you, want I'll because you, Gareth Bale is. was up there as no, a guy Gareth on the Bale. list. Toby Alderweireld was there as a target. Alexandro, that left back position was as a target. Okay, Luke Shaw, we're gonna give I'm you a chance explain. now. And then now even Willian. Willian. So Malcolm's just from Bordeaux, just went to Barcelona. You know that Jose's been flirting with William for a very long time now. But Chelsea, like, I'll tell you each reason. So what was your first one? Uh, Gareth Bale. Gareth Bale was going to leave, I think, in my opinion. But CR7 left, and now Real Madrid yeah. is trying to make him king. So he's not going anywhere. And Jose came out and said, stop going after Neymar. Stop going after Gareth Bale. And there was another guy. Guys, yeah. Toby Mbappe. Alderweireld. Mbappe. Toby All right, Toby Alderweireld. I don't know what that one. I think Jose would prefer Yaharimina. I don't know. I don't think back. he's not we're, sold. Like an, that's an what, a. But we're linked. Get, get an A, a-, a- minus dude we're up in there. We're linked. All right. Need we don't need. My thing is to Arsenal win. Arsenal need like four center backs. Right? Okay, I'm willing to yeah, admit that. Why think, aren't you in order to win no. the league? That's my because, thing. Is like because, you guys will do like. Because we well, need, we need, the center backs will do like okay to above average. Because the issue last year, literally the issue last year, we're the best defense. Only because of De Gea. If De Gea leaves, yeah, bro, we need to bring power guys so that shots aren't but as much. When I, when I also say a center back, I don't mean our just issue. in terms of defensively. I also mean in terms of your build up. You our have a p- center back who can wait. get on the ball, build up like, but like we saw Harry Maguire do listen, for England. That, that is why, dude, Lind- Lindelof, Lindelof, Lindelof is, is the guy. great with the ball at his feet. We've all seen Eric by Risky as fuck. He takes but the he, ball forward. Yeah. So, like, again, the, Lind- pro- the problem with Chris Smalling, who always played sideways, sideways. I'm not going to do it. And then Jones just drops too. back, kills us. But Lindelof plays the ball forward. He's, he's you, finding exactly. gaps. Like, this is Dude, the guy. I understand For Sweden, you. you saw the ball over the top he's playing in. So, look, I understand. Man. For some reason, people think United was this club who would always go out every year and buy these major players. No. I mean, you are since Fergie left. Exactly. And now we're changing to. the system. We have to. You have to keep up with the system. Or not. Or absolutely not, you, dude. Because that's who wins now is the clubs who buy players. Except for Leicester City. I mean, if we're looking at it, majority of the time, I think the club who spends the most or is up there in Chelsea. spending wins the league. So and you we spent 250 la- uh, when we got Pogba and the gang. Like we've spending's not the issue. What I'm what I spending think is in the, the correct issue. areas. I'm telling you, the issue right now is Ed Woodward. I don't think people are, or I don't think the guys he's going for are on his level, and he doesn't have a reputation from the ground level in football. He's so an you American can't attract dude. The top quality. So we can't attract the top quality. That's my thing, because th- I look at this Man United team is, sheet, and I look at Man City, I'm like, damn, what the hell? But my point is, we uh, we only lost once to City, uh, and we beat him the other time. No, we tied him, and we beat it. Oh, we we lo- beat him, we so lost we're undefeated. To look, you guys are good, but when you no, look at like a championship team, usually it's spilling over Tom, the top what I'm of saying talent. Is agreed, but not it, always. It's dude. possible United you guys can win, but you guys with and th- again, everything has to go right. You you could get away with it for so long because you had Fergie, so he could overcoach guys. He could get coach so, people up. Tom clearly he, won the league. Yeah, he could coach <laughs> people up because so, he was a legendary it, manager. If I'm looking at United right now, coming to the season, the number one player that I'm looking at is the biggest. Um, Mm-hmm. Uh, number the six. biggest factor number on, seven. Paul no, the Pogba. biggest factor number not Paul Pogba not Lukaku seven. is Alexi Sanchez Ooh. on which player is going to show up if the Jeez. Arsenal Sanchez shows up you guys have a rocking offense uh, I think, if uh, he doesn't show up which we saw what, he got like two goals three goals since moving to the United it's tough. that's not he. it looked like he was uncomfortable if Jose can find a way to make him feel more comfortable, maybe because he's not getting the ball as much, maybe you just, you know, just move in mid-season, That's what I think you know, it actually is. getting a new place, getting settled. He's got a full preseason yeah. with him yeah. now. Hopefully the rest, too. No no World Cup, no Copa, no nothing. So a lot That's of time. First rest, rest in four years. He's getting older, so these rests are, like you saw Cristiano a couple years ago with Zidane. These rests are, are, are massive. Uh, for these players, but I think more so than Sanchez, man, Pogba's got to step it up. That's it. He's got to be that Zidane for our team. He's got to get the ball. He's got to make plays happen. That's be it. Be brave. Be smart. Be simple. And if you saw at the World Cup, you guys probably talked about his haircut. Straight to business. Just all black. No, you know, showing the size, color. flat on the top, whatever you know, or just showing all around. But yeah, no, no ego it was about team. Not and not after me. every game, he was the guy in the middle. Mendy came out with an article saying he was the one before every game with big yeah, words. Well, he had the big, up. he had the big speech at uh, the Argentina game. Yep. You know, fuck Messi. We're taking this. Like we're and not losing. Like, I noticed the exact me. same thing. <laughs> you want to say that? Again? Fuck Messi. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I noticed I don't the know same thing about no. He I'll said he it. said it. Like it's in quotes. I mean, if you want to yeah. believe the reporters, <laughs> right, right, right. I missed it. I missed it. You I saw the same thing from Lukaku with Belgium. So, look, this United team has leaders, but you know what? When Pogba was surrounded with quality, 
that's when he shined the brightest. But to me, Pogba's but a wasn't. big game player. The brighter the stage, the more he wants to be there. You need players like that. It's against Norwich. Like, even Jose said, it's against those teams that are down there. Where it's like, all right, guy, like, now you have to get motivated. Skulls came out and ripped him. I thought it was a little bit too much saying, oh, he's got to use his brain. He's got to be more smart. He's got to be, like, basically calling for more consistency. And I think that's the frustrating thing for United fans and really just Pogba fans is we recognize his talent. But can you do it consistently? And for me, unless he's surrounded by a guy like Conte, a guy like Matic, he won't he won't have that freedom to necessarily play the exact way he I, wants I to. I fully agree with you on that point with the Conte effect, where there were definitely as good of a World Cup Pogba had. There were definitely moments where he disappeared. Yeah. A yeah. lot of times it was the first half, I believe. Second half usually came Come more alive. Yeah, sure. And that was because the other teammates were able to pick up like Mbappe just coming out of nowhere scoring those goals mm -hmm. now Pogba doesn't have to be the one going darting forward then re coming back every time but he, he, was, right, playing those, he was playing those passes no that, I understand you know, that like, but he had better talent he didn't yeah. have Martial being unhappy yeah. on the outside. He didn't have I'm saying the talent Lingard on the outside. He had Mbappe. He had Griezmann. Dude, the yeah. talent is not the biggest thing, man. We have talent at United. Not like not France. Enough. Not enough. I don't dude, think you have enough have quality in midfield. Lukaku, Martial, Sanchez. No, but no, also in the back midfield. line. I don't Everything. think you have enough quality. You don't have Conte. I understand that, but, but there's only one Conte in the I, world. I understand exactly. that. Liverpool's Conte. You're, you're talking about Pogba anywhere? came out and talked about it where he didn't have to worry about half the things because Conte Agreed, went back there just cleaned Agreed. the stuff so up. Gonna no, Matic, 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 it's I gonna think be Matic. Hold it down. Matic and Conte are the but same. But who's player. the other guy? Lingard. Is, can he be consistent now? This is a big year is, for Lingard. Like last year's Lingard, breakout. Yeah. Fred, yeah. Man, so, Fred, Fred's got to be our guy this year. Fred has to show up. Fred's got to be our guy. Like, and that is a huge question. If we get the Fred Matic Pogba axis going there in the middle, that can save. That could be the dude. Dude. I believe in Fred. I believe in this guy. Haven't seen Dude, much we got of him. Pereira now. Also he's coming, he's coming well. off injured too, which is great. Rotation. Coming in injured to the I season, which sucks. I don't believe in Brazilians at Man United. No, I'm still fine. waiting that's to see you, for that curse to Clay be broken. Broken. This, this is it, dude. This, this is, this is going to be the moment that everything everything changes. Uh, what about Anderson too? Don't forget. Uh, Anderson. The, the hey, you, hey, twins. Champions League winner. Won the Champions League. Did. Scored a Edison penalty. Anderson was too busy eating freaking nachos. So donuts, fat. man. Mad donuts. Dude, so he, was, fat. he got so fat during the season. I was like, what is happening here? <laughs> so um, fat. Let's move over to Chelsea. Chelsea New is manager. New manager. Oh, man, the rant. We saw the rant by Conti. That was a fake rant yeah. floating around. But it was still Fucking epic. hell. Dude, um, so, so it was like a year fake, ago, right? The fake I rant that, that came out, like, uh, it was about him getting fired, calling... Uh, Brian with your knobhead, knobhead, which was hilarious. <laughs> Saying you hope they got but relegated. Dude, there, there was like three was more because I was trying to dig. There like three more different, like same rant, different subtitles. Fucking hilarious. Called uh, Pep Guardiola an avocado. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. No, that but was yeah. an awesome one. But Chelsea um, agree. Well, it's reported that Real Madrid have agreed terms, personal terms of Courtois. Let's go. Chelsea um, getting torn apart. Now they have to agree to the transfer fee. I don't see... A, um, Abramovich selling anyone this year or at least allowing uh, anyone to leave man. I see it. Dude, oh, hold it's on. close now now it's cutting it close guess how many people Chelsea now. loaned out this year how like many? 40 probably 27 <laughs> 17 ah. <It's> beautiful <laughs> dude this system it's working man look at Loftus Cheek out there getting playing no, I'm just time. saying it's crazy they jumps into but dude they, they, get, they gotta lose Hazard this year they gotta he's uh, gonna on Hazard deadline day he's gotta go they're saying Sarri's system is more like a Pep slash Barcelona kind of system the Tiny. players are a lot happier um, instead of that defensive bog down system Conti has. It's it's a new day, man. I could see Hazard leaving. I'm not saying he's gonna stay for Sarri or whatever. I see someone leaving. Like Dude. Courtois, Hazard. Well, I think the Chelsea team's slowly getting torn apart. The biggest well, yeah, trans uh, Baraka, the latest maybe. transfer rumor Baraka's that they have staying. right now is that Chelsea will not allow Hazard to leave. So now Real Madrid have come in for Courtois and Hazard. Oh, sorry, uh, Qatar, Courtois and um Qatar? Yeah, Ketar. Ketar and Willian for 100 mil, which I think that is undervaluating. Yeah. I think Willian can go for at least 60, and Ketar could probably even go for 70 right now. Ketua, if Allison, if Allison, the record, if Allison, the way if he's Allison playing. is 60, right there, that's 130. Ketar is an easy 70, 75. And that's something. like modest because his, his, his age as yeah. well. And as, let's the not, as well as the way he's playing currently. Yeah, the came biggest, hot, hot World Cup the too, biggest yeah. factor right now is that. Uh, we're going to be in August in a couple of days. If they sell one, if not two of those guys, they have very little time to get an, a replacement, get gelled in chemistry with the team before the season starts. Well, if these team, if these were going to happen, I think Etoile would have left. I think they would have sold him like right after the World Cup because I think they were trying to line up maybe well, someone. Robert or Green. they would just put their foot down and be like, 
We're not selling no matter what this year. Hey, they got Robert Green came in on the free. <laughs> That's their cover. <laughs> think- and also, man, a giant player for Chelsea, man. I wanted United to sign this guy. He said we got Fred, but Jorginho, I really love this guy. I can't wait to watch this guy week in, week out. I love his style of play. A lot of over the top. Bro. A lot of, he finds Half the gaps. Oh, he would have been guys. scared to get City. I'm glad City dude, didn't Oh, my him. God. Thank God. I'm glad City. City did not get him. No, but dude, watch out for Jorginho, dude. That, Braz- Brazilian yeah. born, Italian, you know, uh, dude, this guy. This guy's the real deal. Coming over from Napoli. I think he may Sa- get... Coming with Sarri from Napoli. Yeah, who's the last... He American? may get exposed, like, athletically, but on the ball, I dude, think. Dude, he's, he's the pure him and Him and Conte, if Conte stays, dude. Dude, who's... Dude, Sess be- Ses needs to leave. I might be putting you on the spot. Who's another player who did that for Italy? I feel like there was another Brazilian. Uh, who? Brazilian, Italian? Yeah. Pato? No. no he played in Italy. Brazilian. Maybe uh, I'm just thinking Costa. Balotelli's I mean, Ghanaian, Italian... And a, a Brazilian. Oh well, man. Oh well. Ambrosini? No. Uh, position. But yeah, think but yeah, of dude. A Ch- Chelsea. Chelsea have the depth, though. Of course, even with the youth. Um, it's but crazy seeing only bringing two, not uh, two players this this year. One being Robert Green on a free. Um, it's that new manager thing with Chelsea. It's like you go up or down. But I don't think he's gotten his guys. Sorry. Well, he wanted to raid all of Napoli. Apparently, yeah. like he only got one, but he wanted to bring everyone with him. Well, the guys at Napoli were going after him, saying he, he's trying to raid their club. Cool and that, and, should come over. But I mean that cool that's body. one thing that uh not to talk about because you guys are gonna say um Liverpool, but that's one thing that Klopp promised was that once he left Dortmund, because he had so much love with him, he wasn't gonna try to raid Dortmund right away at least. Yeah, and, and he's never he's he he gonna, gonna spend a lot of money either, you know. He's just gonna yeah. come back for Pulisic later. Oh, hey. By la- you know what? I'd be okay with them buying him and then loan him back like uh Keita, like they did last year. Buy Pulisic. And stay at Dortmund for one more year. We'll nah. get you next year. Nah, come over. Come nah. on over. But, uh, come on over. Again, for Chelsea, Morata. That's the guy for me. Is he going to be the guy that everyone thought were, he was coming over at Ju- Juve in Madrid? Or is he going to be the guy we saw last year and basically wet, his, wet himself on the field? All right, well, back problems I mean, and stuff. I'll give him a break for this first, first year blues. Uh, he, did, he was carrying injury for like half the season. Started pretty well, though. I mean, and then and then a couple of bad misses that he had, like in confidence started to wane. Uh, fans got on on the pressure built, and uh, then he didn't make the World Cup squad. <laughs> you know, like bad season for him personally um, all across the board. But I pressure can, too, man. He goes. He he did, might what, come did in. you get transferred? You're looking at me funny. No, Italy. Um, oh, who Brazil. is it? Tiago Mata. Oh, okay. I knew oh, it was yeah. someone oh, right yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. Tiago. Just just for you guys out there, don't lose your minds. What Tiago's not an Italian name? <laughs> Fernandez not um, Russian. <laughs> Look, man, this I think Chelsea, man, I think moves will happen. This this window's been a little weird. Other than CR seven moving, it's a it's, it's a World Cup window. Weird. It's always like this because there's not yeah. enough time. Some of these deals are so big that clubs need like a month to negotiate like different like imaging rights. It's not just about the price. Yeah, it's also performance. Like it's it's a it lot. Then the player has to add that like what piece of the promotion Personal is he going to get. Bakayoko Dude, might have flopped too. He might be out because there's so Sorry many wants people to keep in him. the field. Again, so like weird. we're talking flop. This kid yeah. had one year in there, and literally, I was reading an he? article. He's a fucking yeah. baby, man. Keep mm. him there. He's not a flop yet. He had a bad year, man. It's yeah. that first EPL curse, and Conte bought him knowing that he wasn't ready. And Matic was going to be that dude. He said, I had a plan to teach Bakayako the position and to introduce him to through the Matic. EPL through Matic. And then the cl- and then sold him, him like a cunt. <laughs> and th- that's why he was pissed about that sale. And that's why Bakayako, unfortunately, he said, I had to throw him into the deep end right away. Fire. And he wasn't ready. But, like, we saw this kid at Monaco, man. The potential is there. Is he going to be world class? Who knows, man. But he's it's good. too soon he's to solid. say he's, he's a good. flop. Yeah. No, I agree with that. Who should be getting more time for Chelsea this coming season William Pedro William I say they fight for it out because be when men and fight for it when yeah. Chelsea won that title I, I believe Pedro uh, was playing a bit more not I mean it's pretty even he was he but was, he was, he was, we he was. saw William do really good when they needed him uh, when they had that year after where they're just Jose like sinking yep but Pedro he's the one that I mean did some magic that won the league so it's I'm not saying Pedro's better than William but I think it depends on. It, the, I, I, d- I think it depends on the game because they yeah. both give one hundred ten percent. Like they don't let anything factor their uh, uh, their motivation. They're always they always come yeah, prepared. They're they always come. Ready, they're very yeah. professional. They're top professional. Very professional when they play. It's just Pedro, no physicality. Williams, a tough son of a bitch, and he's maybe a little faster, stronger. You know, Dude, uh, I it think, depends on the game. I think you know? the start of the season, I, it can't be a fifty fifty split because I don't. That's what Conti was kind of trying to do, and it messes with the players' like rhythm. 
I think it should be 70-30, Willian. Obviously, let him fight for the position. But the fact that Barcelona is looking at Willian, you know, like it shows you the potential this guy has. We I think saw you sell Willian. Well, you don't want to no, sell no, him to United. No, no, we're saying if you keep him. If you yeah. keep him. Like, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. they might sell Willian. He's unhappy being at Chelsea. But I think that was Conti. Sorry, I think he's going to bring him in. Yeah, I'll definitely play vacation. Willian over Pedro more, but... I'm looking to bring in a Usman Dembele. I'm looking to do something. That's some another gamble. Like that's that. a guy who just took a step backwards. Mm-hmm. You bring up another Bakayoko for guys trying to test it. Unloan. But Chelsea's also loan. one of those teams that are Barcelona's going to loan to Chelsea. They might. Yeah, but bro, and like since we've been watching the sport, they <laughs> might. Yeah, they might. They might, and they might if bring in Neymar. To. They might. They got the money. No, I'm just saying loan deals are more prevalent now. So not from I could see, club especially, to top especially club, if Eden, except Juve. Especially if Eden Hazard gets shifted to Madrid, <clears throat> usually we see this triangular but thing it's not, that happens. When do you ever oh, remember Arsenal of, loan? Like or like top clubs usually don't loan players from other top. I know, clubs, like Juventus buying. Unless Juventus buying, that's why that I one's mean, special. Yeah, but Dembele on loan. Like, what's no, the no, benefit man. for Chelsea? We're going to tune up your player? No, because if Eden Hazard, you know the two-year loan thing. If Eden Hazard gets sold, a lot of things would I have to happen. Would be I agree. Like, purchase, it's not, not a purchase, not a loan. Like, the probability of it happening is low. I think a purchase would be more apt than I a loan. I think a purchase wouldn't be because he's had a bad year. So I think and Chelsea are like, shit, we need a stopgap right now. But that's Let's why they're not in bringing him in. That's why there's no, like, solid rumors saying Chelsea are going after him. Like, what, what rumors are solid? No, rumors. Willian out. Rumors. Willian out. That's solid. That's... Hazard out. That's solid. Solid rumor. It's not true, but yeah. like that's a realist. <laughs> like loaning Dembele. When was the last time Chelsea loaned anyone in? Dude, with, out is with the way two they weeks go. remaining. I'm looking at it. Look, if we're in the beginning of the market, I can see it. But with two weeks oh, wait, remaining, wait, 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 I, I see a purchase. I'm not saying there's no. But I'm saying a loan. You see, sorry, loaning anyone. Potentially, not even, because wait, question, he's qu- had a down year. Question. They they changed it now. It's not September first, right? Now it's the beginning of the season. Yeah, it's, it's everybody out there. Yeah, they change that. Is that official? Yeah, it's the start of the season because everyone else has another two weeks. They stay okay. complaining about it. Yeah, EPL. Well, you're saying two weeks. I don't. I don't know if it went through. I remember there was rumors la, la, last time around. Everyone's pissed off. Uh, no, it's always been. It's always always been, been September first. Yeah. No, no, no. I thought it was always when the league kicks off. No, no, no. No. It was always because you could play two, three games. Oh shit, we need a center back. Sign somebody. But I thought and they were complaining the last like season yeah. about yeah. that. Barcelona in the okay, so it started last season. You're saying is it official? No, I don't know. I haven't seen it. But Tom was saying two weeks, and that made me think. Now people hold Boss, off what you on got, that, bro. But I mean, speaking of transfers, we touched on Spurs. Man, didn't bring didn't bring a single player in this year. And they they left. Uh, Keenan Bennett's left, and Anton Wakes walks left. I mean, two nobodies. But dude, this team, Pochettino, man. Look, I think this guy stays tripping over his own shoelaces. I don't think it's him, Al. I think it's a Arsenal thing with Wenger when they went from hybrid to the Emirates. Like I, I don't think dude, it's I'm a saying like even like you like just like some kind of like feeder people. But like, he does, he does. They, there's articles out right now saying like Tottenham's only playing youth. Why? Because they had like eight English dudes playing in the World Cup. So yeah. like right now he's working the youth, dude. You had what's his name? Uh, who got hurt last year? What's in it? Like Wilkins or whatever. The center mid for Tottenham, the young kid. Winks. 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 Harry, Winks, Harry Winks, dude. Before you got hurt, this dude looked promising. I'm not well, saying uh, I agree with the right. business. I keep forgetting about the stadium, but, dude, they're not going to be because of that and the lack of investment, man. You, you, you go into the negative a little bit for the future <coughs> profit, but they're not going to be serious for another three, four years then. Maybe. By the yeah, time that happens, first? Hurricanes going to be yeah. third. Like, everyone's going to be old. That's a fair point. Past their prime, possibly. They're yeah. running a risk. It's a massive risk. They're, they're running for the risk. money now. They're going for the money. Like, Arsenal ran that risk, and, you know, it hasn't worked out, unfortunately. But it's weird, man. Nowadays, it's almost as if you need to add plays to the squad just to keep people hungry. Uh, no, it's always a challenge. That way. You know? This is the opposite of him not adding, and we'll see what happens. You know, like it's never pretty. If Delhi Ali has another season like he had last year, if he plays like he played at the World Cup, dude, this kid's a bum. Absolute bum. He needs to be yanked, and like he wouldn't get taken off all that season. He kept yeah. playing him, kept playing him, kept not. Put this kid on the bench, get his head straight. Play Lucas Moura, play Just somebody. Just one game, yeah. And we're not saying bench this kid forever, but, but like, yeah, man, there was, he was missing that fire. Look, like, even for England, like you're saying, like. So he did nothing. He has sk- the, the thing is, he scores a banger every, like, three games. So, like, God damn man. it. Look, his, his timing is really good. His late runs but into I'm the box saying, are good, yeah. but, like. But rotate. I don't like, think he was cons- as consistent as he could have been last yeah. year. His numbers, 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 his numbers were decent, though, yeah. yeah but that's bullshit. Numbers. They're misleading. They're misleading numbers because him, he wasn't he consistent. Just disa- yeah, he did, he but the thing is, every game he would disappear. 
for 70 and not get pulled. That's what I was saying is like, keep, yeah, keep the faith. This guy should be a 90-10. You should have a 10% guy coming in to play. He gets 90% of the minutes or even 80 just to keep that when hunger. You, when you don't add to the squad, then you run the risk of people getting an attitude thinking and getting oh, I'm, comfortable. I'm going to play every week. I'm going to play every week. I'll get comfortable. For sure. But yeah. that that's why you got Orier and uh, what's his name battling on Trippier. one side, Trippier. And then Rose is coming back into health with Ben Davies. So, like, you got competition. But I hear you, man. I'm not that worried for Spurs. Competition. Like, I don't think their pressure is that high anyway. No one expects him to win. So, they, I think this year they'd be ha- not happy. But do you think they drop off this year, Spurs? They could I, go I think, to five I think or they six. Do. They could go to five six. It also but depends that, on injuries but they got Lamella that. back. They got Lucas Morris. So, it looks like they're going to actually start rotating their fullbacks and not rely on that three five two to get your production. You got two wingers coming back. I've always liked Lamella. I'm not saying he's world class or anything, but so I, I'm not agreeing that they shouldn't sign players. But I'm not that worried about him. If United, Arsenal, Liverpool, City, Chelsea were not signing players, I'd be freaked out. But Tottenham, out of the top six, they we know the number six. You no, know, they managed to hold on to players, which is big. Uh, Harry Kane's not leaving, but Christian Eriksen, he's the guy that could. Like, he's the most like they hold on most to likely him. to leave. I think yeah. Barcelona <laughs> calling for him. Yep. So the fact that he's there was the biggest. Thing. Yeah, you see, so you got Harry Kane staying. He might not have the same season, but I hear you, Tom. Can't like lose Toby. It's a well, Toby and Dembele. Toby and it looks like Dembele. they might keep him. So you get yeah. you as well. Sanchez and Vertonghen back there anyway. So like center backs are solid. Those are two number one center backs. Uh, what's his face adds a third Toby if he's gonna play or not? Yeah, man, it's 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 interesting. I it, it's a mess they're solid, rest, man. But, but the, I don't depth, think the, it's depth, on the depth is there though. Like yeah. they get injuries, they're fucked. Yeah, I don't think it's, it's on Pochettino. Who laid the stink bomb? For not, me. Uh, <laughs> not me. <laughs> it wasn't me. Just but, um, well, I'll try to fight so it. So Spurs, uh, um, they usually are able to find good talent at a young age. Yeah, we saw it multiple times. Uh, the problem is that they usually have to sell. Yep. This is um an odd time for Spurs because they're not selling all their players. Yep. Uh so it's almost like you want to see what the Spurs can do. The Are Spurs, they huh? Yeah, the Spurs. That's what I do. The Spurs. So, you want to see what Spurs do uh with this transfer market to bring in younger players that could develop in one maybe but two years. They're they're like ni- they're in-house they're, production. They're in-house yeah. production. And I'm fine with Perfect it. Perfect way. Yeah, like, I I, I don't mind they don't that. Upset it. I'm they not, they always I lived through it as an Arsenal fan. I saw this shit happen, man. I saw but but this Tottenham just team, bring Petr check in. What I'm saying is didn't have a Harry Kane. Like we didn't have the quality. Secondary striker. Who do they have? Out of what? Jansen, Vincent, Lorente. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Lorente. Like I just said, who do they have? Lorente. That's my thing too. Well, yeah, Lorente. So I the thing agree. is, they can improve. Th- if they lose Delhi, who do they have? If they lose Ericsson, who do they have? Same guys. That so they do it. have to improve that depth because if one of those guys goes down, one of those top three. I but, mean, Delhi. Yeah, we, we just, uh, we just, we just discussed, discussed this. I just told we, you we why. Just, we literally yeah, just discussed but, this. Like, I'm sure they'd love to. I still believe that they had. I don't want to swipe the credit card. Hey, listen, we all we all know they need to. We all know they need to sign. Stadium. We all know they need to sign, but it's just mortgage is up now. It's not there. Yeah, the stadium. That's all it is. It's the stadium, guys. I don't think Poch is sitting there arrogant. It's a beautiful stadium. Sign anyone. Dude, it's a straight business. Know, West Ham went through that dip. Now West Ham is spending again when they moved to their new stadium. Luckily, they didn't have to build it because it was the Olympic Stadium. Just modified a bit. They just modified it a little bit. But, like, we literally saw it. Hybrid, hybrid to Emirates. Emirates, dude. Like, this is not abnormal. I disagree with it. I think when you move to a new stadium, you should have a built-in $100 million kitty to spend. Be like, no matter what, when we open this, we, we got our expenses covered. We still need to keep the club progressing. This is a little it's a massive club risk. Shit. Either yeah, way. It is. This is little <coughs> club shit because big clubs, they don't move to new stadiums. They just build upon their already beastly stadiums. Nah, but that's it's zoning. Weird. That's zoning. You know that I mean? was strictly zoning. Like, you're a big club. When Arsenal left Highbury, Henri was still there. So, like, yeah. it's zoning, bro. Like, Arsenal Yeah, but was... we're not the biggest of the big clubs. Yeah, but bro, We're a big club. Are... I'm talking about the cream of the crop. Their stadium. Only three in the world. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's, that's but what like, I'm saying. It's weird. No, Man United, and throw yourselves in there. Not I'm right now. Man United, Barcelona, Bayern, Real Madrid. Madrid. Real Madrid. So the but there's one in each country. Like it's not like all of a sudden Tottenham can be like, yeah, we want to big big dogs. That's Arsenal all, couldn't even saying. do it. The cream but of the dude. crop just just so happen to already have their big ass stadium, and all they do they just keep making it bigger. Yeah, Everyone yeah, else United took a is step moving back. around. United took a step back in the mid whatevers. You know what I mean? Like historically to get old traffic expanded and stuff. Yeah, but you guys saw the plot ahead of everyone. Then if that's what it was, it was a bypass of you just being ahead of the game. S- Spurs new stadium. Couple things on it. First of all, the cost, the price. Any guesses? One hundred and pounds, million dollars, five hundred to a billion. I'm saying that's, that's a general. Come on, three fifty. Right. three hundred fifty. What million? Oh no, because they have the state of the art. 
I'm yeah. saying 900 million. How's he? No, billion. Sorry. Billion. Half a billion. billion. I don't know. 900 I don't, billion? I, honestly, I don't know. I don't know what I don't know what stadiums go for nowadays. I haven't really right, been yeah, in the market for one. I don't know why I asked you questions yeah, anyway. Million. Yeah, 350 for us. 850. That's million. close. 850 million pounds. <laughs> Uh, we're d- almost a, almost right, almost dude. a billion dollar stadium. It's got its own microbrewery. But the funny thing I want to bring up: you go from White Hart Lane to Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Great name for it. Great name for <laughs> great name for a great club. <laughs> how yeah, how bland is that, sense. man? Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. <laughs> what the fuck? But I guess White the, Hart Lane. Let's yeah. go. Some company coming in and taking it, right? Like being the Emirates, for example. Like, who cares about the Emirates? Not as of, not yeah. as of now. It's the best well, pitch the in England. The Bank Garden. You yeah, want like but Fenway. Like, but it's the Garden. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's the yeah, Garden. Because they tag Garden in there. But yeah, it becomes, TD it becomes love. The company almost yeah, but, becomes love. Yo, oh, like uh, yo Tiki. Stripes on Tiki, I was at the Emirates, just, dude. After one to the Etihad, it was a great, it was a great experience, a great, saying, great right? journey. Yeah. And then going to the Reebok Stadium, you know, fuck that shit. Look, man, man not everyone can be old traffic. Not everyone can be yeah, the right. burner bow. Not everyone can be. You, camp- can, you can be, but you take okay. that fucking money. You are thirsty. Yeah, because we're down there. We're trying to, we're trying to. You can be White up. White Hart Lanes. You know, just put an S on it. Yeah. What other rumors we got? Man, I, I mean, I've, I got. We uh, ran I want. Uh, we didn't even we talk about Harry. We didn't even talk about Harry Maguire going to United. Really. Let's do it. But I would. This guy would be the guy to provide support. Upstage, uh, uh, Jonesy. Upstage, Chris Smelling. Be that guy, third in the pecking order. Coming for some stars. The back I thought your center backs were all right. We talked about this like two weeks ago. I thought your center backs were all right. If you're going to bring somebody but, in. You know, Smalling was out the door. I thought we talked about Phil Jones. I can, I can, six, without, I can, live, I can live without Smalling. Thanks, I, really, I really can. And if we can sell him for $30 million or something, I'll take that money. Dude, what? Fuck McGuire. Oh, he had, he had what? seven good games. I, that's it. Dude, how is it? How is it? a good season. This guy has been playing. I'll take he had it. a good season, bro. Fair With enough. With Lester, he had a good season. Fair enough. I'm just saying you I, guys have him. I'm just saying I like him. Man, I'll put it this way. He had a better seven games and Phil... Uh, <laughs> fair yeah. enough. Yeah. Phil fair Jones. Jones. Fair enough. Jones. Oh, fair enough. 110% right. 110% right. When you're going for that center back position, I don't want no patchwork. We're going for Vidic. And we're going for Ferdinand. Oh, he said he's Patrick. He'll never he be there. Why is Patrick? He's Patrick. He's a risk. Look, Ooh. I've been calling for him to stay at Leicester. Let me see how you do it at Leicester over these thirty-eight games. Well, he's now got a partner at Leicester and uh, Johnny Evans. He does. So it'll be Johnny Let Evans. Let me see how he does. Let me see you dribbling out the back when the stage is small over thirty-eight games. Why you? Then maybe you I'll saw give him you dribbling credit. out the back when the stage was big. Why you got to see him doing games, man? The There's so many small. World Cup flops. I read an the article. World, World Cup is tough because yeah, it's, it's like, just seven games, yeah. though. Not actually, yeah, seven because they but, had the third place game. But you, you read an it. article. I watched him last season. Great. So you want to? So he you had want a Maguire. good season with Leicester. I think he had a solid I just think season. United saying, need to address that center back enough, position but because you, you need a guy who's way above Phil Jones, but not Chris Maguire. Eric Bailly is that guy. Let's get a. Proper power guy, like you know, a guy who's got like Varane. Let's go proper. Even in even a guy like position. that would still need to adjust to the league. Fair so enough, that's the benefit with Maguire. Is he's already familiar with the league. Is I he familiar with the stage? Jose loves no. big guys. You saw at the World Cup, every corner kick went right to Harry Maguire. He's box. a beast. Have him. Bro, I was like, saying, I don't want him. I Have love him. him. I if you don't want him, but support you him. Need him. It's a fucking tree. We, we don't need, need like him. Who did? Uh, I'm just saying. I would. Like, I would like that's, him. That's your new boy. I'm gonna get you. Your who I'm buying that jersey <laughs> the day he signs. I hope you do, dude. I hope you do. And I'll back him and support him at United. But I don't want him. I don't want him, dude. Who did Southgate choose? Huh? Maguire. Who else was there? Oh, oh, oh. Uh, Smalling. Oh no, he wasn't there. But Jones was there. Jones. And we all agree that Jones is he the like on paper and like he's out of position. He's the fourth in the in the in England. But looking at defenders around the world, is he even top twenty? No. no. Okay, so who are you talking about? Phil World Jones? Cup squad. Yeah, or but Harry he made a, uh, Phil Jones. Both. But he I, made the World Cup squad. So like England centre back and goalie issue. Dude, you had a uh, Pickford start versus Butland versus a Burnley guy. To me, it's the, the fact back line that is different. Maguire's not ready. If Maguire does it, if Phil Jones better, is ready. Phil Jones is Trust not me, ready, Maguire but I'm saying it's ready. not worth swiping the credit card for a guy who's just a little better than Phil Jones he's right now. He's not just a little better, bro. Then you're, in my opinion, to Dude, me, oh, he's head and shoulders games. above him because not only does he bring the aerial threat during corner kicks that Phil Jones does not, he can. Phil Jones has got heart. 
That's the thing with me with Phil Jones. He's, he's a, a dog. He's going to get stuck in. I like that about him. He's the dude him. that but heads the ball away, runs into the post. You can't trust him technically. It's dude. almost like Ben Foster at center back, dude. Like, dude, for not, me, Maguire. He's not that raw, but, dude, Maguire has the ability to I would play take, from the back. I would take and he brings no, he those doesn't. two things. No, again, I don't think he does, man. Like, he had that clunky touch. Who was a player I used to make fun of? Uh, oh, man, there was a player who... You respected his touch, but it just wasn't there, man. Maguire's touches. Oh, Diego, Diego Costa? Costa? Diego Costa, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, Costa. Guy can dribble. <laughs> guy got, guys got dribbles. I was like, Off what are you his talking shin? about? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, but then I he fucking no. shits. It's, 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 it's so works. weird. It I works. would take Stones over Maguire. If we're going for Stones, oh, yeah, we'll get him. But that's what I'm saying. That's the level we need. Would you take Yeri? I would take Yeri because Barcelona saw something. They cancel their plans well, or whatever. I how think, how how think Maguire about, is a better defender. Than hey, how Phil about Jones? Al saw something? All right, Tell yeah. him he he's is. going forward. Going Tell forward, he's not as good he's as a Phil Jones. Defender, he doesn't have better I agree, feet. but he's not at that level, man. And if we're going uh, for center back position, I want the dude at Harry that Mc... level. Oh my goodness! If we, if we, uh, uh, I, believe, go, I believe he's twenty five, about yeah, twenty twenty six. I'm going to see what his price was for for Leicester. is ready. And you guys need a guy like that who's also a leader. Dude, he's got you got fucking big balls. He's gonna fucking run through you. He's not scared of anything, too, man. Like. I mean, if yeah, you say have him, I would be one club is I'd be more than team. happy for Liverpool to go after him. Harry Maguire and Virgil van Dijk next to each other. That'd be awesome, bro. That's a problem, son. Dude, you should. Hey, when you oh signed, you, you signed Robertson from Hull City. You, sh- I said it last year. You should have signed. You signed the wrong guy. No, you really. should have signed both. That's what I'm saying. You should have yeah. signed both. Yeah, <laughs> would have been fucking massive. <laughs> yeah. Let me finish. God damn, the wrong guy. But dude, if dude. Virgil van Dijk and Harry. <laughs> that would be the best pairing in the what league, What do you do on dude. set pieces? Oh, my God. What Just, do you do? All right. Muscle. Can we use <laughs> our do, No, everyone else Power. can use our hands. Oh That's God. the thing. Like, if you're a defender, you can use your hands, too. That's insanity you know? right there, man. And I think Man United could do the same thing with Fellaini in there. Or Pogba. You already have guys who are huge. Bringing a guy like that who's actually versatile after the, the air. size thing, man. What? What? This is football. It's fit into your game. Lester, well, Lester demanding ball. three days ago. That's Le- a ball. Lester demanding eighty million for Harry Maguire. Such bullshit, dude. Aerial um, threat. Is no, Lester's threat. gonna hold on to him. They're not selling this. Let's summer. see. Yeah, yeah, his transfer from Hull City was seventeen million. Look, when no, he joined no. from Hull City, so we'll give him thirty-five, double their money. Dude, he got two dude. Premier League goals last year, by the way. So let's not get crazy about this, dude. Harry? It's, yeah, Harry Maguire got two and one in the World Cup. Yeah. That's it. I'm that's I'm it. Gonna, but I'm again, look at the now. team he's around with that's England. Fine, look at the team it, with but Leicester. But set pieces. That's not about the team. All I'm saying is this guy I'm not sold on. He's got that shady touch. He did dribble out the back a few times, brought it up. But if you saw who's the player with the legs and defense and the brain who can take his club to the next level, I think Harry Maguire is a great pit bull. But I'd take Her- Eric he, Bailly I, over he, Harry Maguire. He, dude, he's, he's, a, he's a squad player is all I'm saying. He's not but a starter. Yeah, I would take Eric Bailly too over. That Eric, position. We need a guy who's going to challenge the starters. Sell small, but don't... Bring, man, bring in someone real, dude. Like Toby. Someone real. Toby's too old. Toby... But you bring in a hitman for twenty million dollars instead of like, a gamble for you're this not, young you're gonna, dude. You're not going to get Rafael Varane. I'll talk. I'll talk. To, to me, to me, Yerry Mina. I mean, physically in terms of his defensive ability, also he's, a he's, tower. A, he's a problem. That's but why it, I'd rather but take if you look him at his over feet, Maguire. Look at his feet. He's not as skilled on the ball in terms of the build don't need it you know how are Vidic's I mean? feet we don't need it we only need one center back at the back with feet look at uh, uh, Otamendi and company is that going to be Eric Bailly for you it could be Eric Bailly it could be Lindelof easily one of those things. Lindelof did okay. it for Sweden too we watched that him do it for to me is also team. part of the connection is having a center back who's just super one. comfortable just one on that's the all ball. you need uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a big not, fan of Ben Bay not in the modern day, PSG. man. Oh, there he is. It's us. Yeah, no, if you guys go get him, I mean, he would be a good project to Can't be sit, like for, that in the sit for day, one man. year behind maybe like a Rojo with... Um, Rojo, with, uh, Rojo. I, 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 I think he gets overlooked. I think he had a... Who? Rojo. I think yeah, when I think he so too, is not man. getting injured, he is a He's good secondary... He's uh, I love yeah. him. Oh, again, may not have good... Yeah, no, but they, all they, these not guys... Good. But, like, that, but all these guys, we literally have... We literally have two guys who are kids... Who could pop? Eric Bay, I think, is twenty three years old. Right? I have no gripes with Bay. He's a starter. Lindelof, also, I think, mid twenties. He's a guy okay, who can pop. So this, this is a big, feels... big year for Lindelof. Exactly. So like these two are the guys we've bet on. These are the horses that we bet after, on. After, after, three after this or season or, or years, J- January, if they don't pan out, January next season. All right, Lindelof. Not ready? Not for I'm, me. I'm just saying, if if we had this season, if they don't show up, if Lindelof still struggles, all right, I guess we need to bring someone else in. Yeah, bro. I don't you know, think so. This season, I think we're fine. Literally, that's not a problem our problem has literally been midfield and like, dude, i'm saying this season I'm, I'm agreeing with you 
I'm saying. No, no, I'm saying even after this season. All right. No, I'm, it all, I think I'm it agree with you is because it's, it's the, not. It's not. Look, just, just it's a hu- future investment because we don't need it next year either. You need a strong right. spine compared to everyone else in the world. You have to when realize. I look at everyone else. Go ahead. You have to realize that transfers takes two teams. You can't just go and say, I want that guy. You're not shopping on a supermarket here. Uh, if you want to pay $80 million, I think that's overpriced, but is McGuire going to be worth it? I don't know. But the, but I don't, I don't but the, the point is, why did Van Dyke go for 75? Why is, why is McGuire listed at 80? Because right now, in this day and age, we're kind of going through a lull of, of top tier center backs and that's why all these teams are holding desperately think, claws in to yeah, hold on to their center backs that's a great point because Varane going nowhere unless if they get De Gea and I still don't even know if that's even going to happen it's always been like but, that at that center back position center backs is very rare one top team will give up the number one center back I think it's at times more important than the number nine position yeah the price is different, but you look at top center backs. As soon as Ramos popped, we knew he wasn't going anywhere. No. Godin finally is looking around now Company. that he's getting older. Company wasn't going anywhere. John until Terry, the John K- Terry, Kilini's still there. Yeah, man. So like center backs, this is this is the play. And now I think this is the World Cup inflation. It is. Dude, no one was talking eighty million for Maguire before the World Cup. But no dude, one really. But they, were talk- was, they were talking I, like fifty-five. 50, 60. It was fifty-five. 55, if, 55, if, 55, if, 55, if Van, Van Dyke is seventy-five, there's no way Harry Kane is like Harry, Harry Kane, Harry Maguire, because Virgil Van Dyke is probably the best future center back in the world. Well, like, this, is the, this is the World Cup run. gas, Al. This is, this is World Cup oh, yeah, gas yeah, yeah. plus. That's what I'm oh, saying, all, The man. market's that's already why, inflated. So, that's so why I'm don't, not saying pay 80 for him right that's now. that's what Liverpool's saying. That's what I'm saying. Give him a year. We'll see if he's worth 80. He could be worth Get 80. Get his ass in January. Don't want him. Because um, we need a January signing. Man, move, move, need move, moving on. Need him in Move, January. Moving Sanchez. on. Moving on. Moving on over. Bopping around the league. Great transfer I saw this year. Everton bringing in Rick Carlson from Watford. Uh, guy had a great start to last season, up to January. Got a little fatigued, a lot of pressure on him. But uh, great signing for Everton, I think. You know, Dude, Theo, think Theo, Wal- a, Theo Walcott on one side, this is Rick Carlson on the I, other. Thank you. I think this is a big, big risk, man. It's a gamble. $65 million for Rick Is that what it was? Yeah, man, Jesus. if I'm not mistaken. It was a lot of – and this is their That's first signing. I don't know it was that high. And, uh, They've only made one signing this year. And, and the manager, Carlson. was it 50? Uh, I think it was I'll 60, maybe 55. Either way. What's wrong these numbers? And I'm talking dollars, not pounds. Oh, okay. um, yeah, okay. Dollars. That's what it is then. Um, but either way, man, like, I know the manager signed him at Watford, if I'm not mistaken. But you saw him last year. You just faded. Like, it wasn't even like – he was trying hard, having a bad game. They said he struggled to settle in in Watford. And I think Watford's in London, if I'm not mistaken. So that's kind of yeah, tricky. Yeah, it is. It's like right next to the You're going, He's moving to Liverpool. $52 the city. million, dollars, whatever. Close enough. He's moving to the city of Liverpool. It's a pressure club where now they lo- they, they want to launch a, a, an attack for five to six place. You know, top, si- top five. Uh, I, th- I think the environment, it's bigger club. Like, Pan- fans will love him more. I think that's stage. the risk. I think that's the risk that he's the only signing. He runs the risk of being the Mauro and Fellaini. People hate Fellaini because he was of the that. one dude. It wasn't so his fault. He, and they spent. It wasn't his fault. And it's not Richarlison's fault. I think that price tag is going to be heavy on him this season. Does he have the pieces to justify it? Sure, man. Absolutely. They need a winger. But I don't man. know if it should have been at that price, especially with a guy like Balassi there who could kind of hold you over for one more season until you figure it yeah, out. I think, just, I think it's adding depth, but 65 or 52. That's the weird position. Um, probably the, the most Fugazi, Fugazi, Fugazi signing of uh, probably EPL history. Andre Schurler, two-year loan deal to Fulham. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking this guy, uh, champion with Germany, World Cup 2014. Played for some of the biggest clubs in the world, Chelsea included, Dortmund. Uh, just came from Wolfsburg. Two-year loan deal with Fulham, who just got promoted. Uh, yeah, uh, it's crazy. I love him, it, man. This is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my life. It, and it's not like he's over the hill like uh, Hesse Rodriguez going to Stoke last year. Like that was like, all right, guys, nobody would not like. People want to play in the Prem, and not only that, people want to get paid, but dude, man. Full man, they want to get nuts. paid. Yeah, bro. he wants to be yeah. back into it. And look, look, I love what Wolves are doing. Wolverhampton, Rui Patricio in. Willie Bully, bro. They've been they, not, they've been not Johnny relegated. Johnny Casser <laughs> from Atletico. Like, Ruben Vinagre. These dudes, man. Jao Moutinho's in for them. Diego Jota from Atletico Madrid. Raul Jimenez from Benfica. So Leo Bantini. Like, they're doing all... Like, Wolves is making signings. Fulham's making signings. So, we talked about this I before. I, I do agree with you. Uh, they've definitely made some great signings. Moutinho going for five was very surprising for me. Moutinho going from Monaco to the Wolves. That for is a only steal for nowadays. That I, he's, he's look, he's 31 years old, bro. but for that 
we could very well see experience. he could be a, a game changer for them because he could be the brains. He's Kabai. It, it, that's how I see him for that team. Remember if, how yeah. Kabai was like for Newcastle? I see him in that type of role. Will he produce? That's, I don't know. That's the question mark the risk, for all yeah. players. But, but like your wolves, but, so like yeah. It's but worth be, it. even before that, Patricio coming from over from Sporting, I think that is huge, huge for bro. a newly promoted team to get a you player know, of his caliber. Wow. Yeah, man. That's why I was wondering who the Fulham sporting director is because there was an issue at Sporting Lisbon where one of the executives like hired 50 allegedly hired 50 goons to go beat up the team after they got I think they lost the league on the last day or they got knocked out of some competition and literally players got beat up so um, they were kind of allowed to con- uh, cancel their contracts and move to other clubs so that's how they got Rui Patricio. That's just brilliant. Yeah, Jelson Martins was one of the other guys. Eyes, 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 eyes everywhere, man, watching all the deals go down. Dude, I like. I also like the Moutinho move because sneaky um, Ruben ne- Neves or Ruben Neves. Neves. Neves, uh, Portuguese N-E-V-E-S, midfielder. Yes, right. Yep. That's another guy. I think he's been he's been a, a quality guy for them. It's kind of he was at Porto before. Thought he might pop and go to a bigger t- club. Now he's helped bring Wolves back into the Premier League. I think we're going to see a lot from this kid as well, man. So I, I like it, man. I, I love the transfers that are going on. Um, to me, just a special kid I got to bring up here, Vinicius Jr. Going to Real Madrid. Vinicius Jr., you mean? Nah, man. This is Vinicius <laughs> Jr. right here. Leave him alone. Man looks like he's balling. I think he's going to see some time under the new coach here. Obviously, with CR7 leaving, there's, that's left Dude, a huge void for people to jump into. This is such a... And it's a scary signing. Another young Brazilian coming in. We saw Robinho before he got signed. He was looking real. I know no. Vinicius is your boy. I know you love dribbling. Remember that clip where Robinho had like the 12 step overs in a yeah, row and, and then he bop, earns bop, the PK? Bop, 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 bop. I was like, oh, he's Madrid ready. <laughs> exactly. He wasn't, and man. then he wasn't. I don't wasn't. think Madrid is the pressure. Dude, Tom, they booed Cristiano Ronaldo nah, the for parts of ridiculous. the season. So this kid comes in. If he has 10, 15 bad games, all of a sudden the, sh- the pressure's around his shoulders. He could ball out. Who knows? I'd feel better if he was at Barcelona. That's Me a too. team that will kind of develop youngsters. But we're we'll seeing Dembele, too. Now he's not fitting at Barca. So the pressure, nonetheless, is there when you're at sure. a club For that sure. big. Can you step up? Like, Carezma failed at Barcelona. So, like, the, he's got a ball, but I believe in this kid, Vinicius Jr., I think he's going to be... Which not believe in? Look, we're already, no, skip, we're already you, skipping. You. You're so thirsty to talk with this guy. You skipped out of England, you know, already. I love it, though. But... Coming, bringing it back. You bringing it back. My uh, my boy for the future. Next season, getting this jersey. West Ham United boy, combining two of my favorite names in uh, history. My own. Better get him in fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> Full name: Isa Diop. Papa Baba Diop. Oh, 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 oh. You yeah. took a left turn with that one. Yeah. Papa, 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 Papa <laughs> Diop plus my own last name: Isa Diop. I like this guy. French guy, six five. Oh, he's a beast. He's gonna be a beast, man. Young young man. Him and Jack Wilshire gonna be in that midfield. Uh, I yeah, thought I'm you were talking about Philippe Anderson. I thought that's where you were going with it. Philippe Brazilian Anderson. from Lazio. He's also in at West Ham. Nah, man. Wow. I mean, Damn, yeah. West Ham's kind of sneaky. Dude, with Jack, Wilsh- Jack, Jack Wilshire in the free hole. I love that full transfer, man. Finally, he can get some playing time. Hope he bid to stay fit. Him and Mark Noble would be fucking awesome. Yeah, He's a D up behind him. James Collins is gone. Patrice ever released. Um, so, yeah. It's going to be a good I mean, they'll probably still be bottom half of the table, but... It'd be interesting to see what they can do. I just like this guy. Issa fucking Diop. From Toulouse. Guys, what do you think about Mahrez to Man City? Brilliant. Obviously, this is a bit of an old one, but what are your thoughts? Is this guy going to suffer because he's not playing week in, week out? He's not... I think he might be, I think he might be playing think? more than we expect. Yeah. Given his first his, his initial debut or his friendly debut, you know, this summer, he was Dustin. I think he you know brings I mean? an Ex- unpredictability to this city team. Some magic. That was kind of missing. Yeah, the magician. At times, exactly. Like Raheem, Sane, 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 straight, 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 straight. straight, straight. Mars, I can, I can come back. I can go side. Like, I can, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a knight on chess table, you know? Yeah, and they have so Bernardo Silva. So that right wing stunning. position is stacked. And it's and like, but those guys can move inside either or. That's what, that's what you yeah. need. So when you look at City, now you're like, oh, damn, they got him and him. Oh shit! And him. It's, it's the same thing I'm doing with Liverpool. I look at him like, oh, that's who's in midfield. Everybody behind the ball. And him. <laughs> so like, when I look at Arsenal, I say that it's in the striker position. Okay, we're going to be scoring goals. When I look at United, I'm still kind of like, all right, your keeper's nasty. Lukaku's nasty. Pogba's good Alexis in the EPL. Sanchez. 
Maxi Lexi Sanchez, Sanchez is number two to Conte. Can we put it together? Can 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 you mess it together? That's, I still haven't. That's te- what it comes down. But to. it's still not like a scary team. Like I don't look at United. I'm like, oh shit. Like yeah. same thing with Spurs. Like like Harry Kane, Christian Eriksen. But I'm not like scared. Shaking and yet out they my beat beat all the top six, man. Those like I agree with you on paper. It's not a scary looking team. But I watched these guys 50 games last year. It's not that far off. I think City is gonna get hit with a bit of reality. They're still gonna be the favorites, hands down, favorites to win it. But I don't Liverpool think they're getting hundred uh, points. I think the reality Liverpool already happened. Legs. The reality check happened with Sevilla and Champions League. So I think United is gonna come in stronger this this August because they're gonna have that little click on factor where it's not gonna like they're gonna be caught off guard because they got hit hard by yeah. the media by. You think the World Sevilla. Cup guys are just gonna be able to come back? Click that, flip that switch, and turn it on. No, not necessarily. No, 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 but it's the same for both clubs. Like De Bruyne played all the way to the end. You know, like in De Bruyne, you hit a long city. season too. You got beat up. A long season. Guys like Company as well. Hazard got beat up too. The but that's also yeah, a lot of clubs have beat up players. And by the way, I see. Hey, I see city. Hey, hold on. Speaking about Hazard, not being man, the same city. No World Cup. Fuck. Eden Hazard, man. I hate this man. <laughs> Yo, you Why? just you shot at I hate this man. Said yeah, fuck you. Messi and Hazard. Because today. what's the deal? He was the man. He was the man that he should be during the whole World Cup. You know, he plays the way he should play. Contrast with Nani, uh, Nani, Neymar. Every time he got fouled, yeah, you got fouled, man. You took too long. Should have passed it. You didn't. Took the contact. Rolling around, rolling around. Hazard always drawing contact. Always getting fouled. He was the target man. Five foot seven target man. Dude, getting bullied all over the field. F- get, get, got fouled. Right back up. Slow. Got back up. Get gets back up all the time. Why do you do this stuff? Looking for that fucking transfer, man. He's a <laughs> yeah. fucking mercenary. So why Pog would do yeah, it? Yeah, dude. Might probably do it. Is he, he looking for a transfer? No, he bought into the qual- the, the the team spirit. I'm just saying. And and Hazard, Hazard bought play, into he plays Belgium for, spirit. He, he plays for no. He plays for himself. Oh. He's a captain. Oh, obviously, no, he played no, for the dude. country. Dude. Look, he got a, no, dude, no, he's got a the point. way he plays. He's like, got dude. Jose fired. Yeah. Him and Jose beefed. He refused oh, to call Jose. Oh, my leg. I, I, I need no, to it wasn't play. just him. It was, it you know, was just him. It was Fabregas, Costa, William. The whole time Hazard has been at Chelsea, they've been a yo-yo team. So you can't just blame it. Like, and the when they drop in their performance, where is Hazard where is he? dropped his performance. So it's like does Salah that mean this he plays for himself? That's my take. Chelsea, that's what I'm taking. At Chelsea, I don't with. think he plays for love. I don't think he loves that club. I think he does everything he can do, quote unquote, for, for the Belgium, club. Yeah. But you see a different level in Belgium. We do, and we see a different a level country, every man. other year for Chelsea. No, that, every that's, other that's, year. That's most players is it's when not, they play man. for their nation. It's not. They're, man. they're, they're, they're trying, especially in a World Cup. Especially in a World what Cup, I, man. Uh, uh, and whereas in the league, you see them more games. So you have 38 games. So you're, you're up for no, no, Arsenal what about for the that next derby. Season, he was more, he he was more he's inconsistent. Does that mean that he's a... No, he, he's, he, he's he was a very consistent in the World dude? Cup. He was very consistent in the whole World Cup. He was very professional. He, was he, fucking, he led his team like a... Prof- like, he led his team like a captain. Okay, how old is he now as well? But dude, he could never captain Chelsea. No, he couldn't. You know? He couldn't because he, but he can I'm not going to say he board. couldn't. He, he's 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 look. He's I'd coming of age. Dude. We're arm, seeing man, Eden Hazard Chelsea. coming up, come of age, guys. Like remember this guy. Dude, he's, he, he's he looking. He's he looking. He wants, no, no, he wants that fucking transfer, bro. There's an article here. Hazard working on. Oh come on, damn. Pop he's 27 ups. years old now. Hazard working on adding selfish streak. So yeah, that's a fair shot. He might not be as selfish as we say. So nah, man. But this guy's a baller. It's just, what's annoying is not saying, seeing not saying him he's not a baller, man. Level. He's one of the best yeah, in the world. Yeah, no, to me, I see Neymar more in that category than I see Hazard. I say out of those top players, Hazard has that biggest trait because every other year he's taking a year off. He's that bitching, just, he's, that's consistency and not getting along the matters. That's not like I'm making a personal decision to were, say, fuck off, I'm doing this for me. There are actually Dude, times again, this past season that people were talking about how Hazard had to be more selfish because he was passing that ball. He was being a little bit cowish and not really taking that on uh, on his year, low. Yeah. Right so when we talk about him being selfish, maybe mentally, but on the field, there are a lot of reports not, of he needs selfish. to be more selfish. He said playing yeah. for himself, which is more yeah. like... What is it's, that? It's like Ozil. The whole team it's be- like the whole it's, team an, it's an attitude thing it's rather than performance. It's an attitude where like, no, nah, we suck anyway this year. Oh, I don't like my manager, so I'm not going to play for the team. Like, it's not like, oh, I want to score all the goals kind of thing. He's saying, Al is saying like, oh, now that it's a contract year, now you want to play hard? Like, why couldn't you play hard the last two years? And we see his I potential. I he was playing hard the last two years. No, man. He just wasn't playing well. He wasn't playing consistently. So he played, he played well when they won the league, and then the next year... He played like shit. They but didn't it's happened fall two or three league. times in a row. If that happened once, I'm like, all right, you took a dip. But like, 
Dude, I'll never it's forget the Willie on the air. That's why we've no, no, been no. like, oh, he's in the top ten. No, he's not. Oh, no, he's but in. I'm oh, saying no, like he's, he's not. not trying every time. And his he's... work rate, his defensive work rate needs to improve. That's that's been a weakness. He, 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 he doesn't need it. He doesn't need that. He doesn't need that shit. I'll, I'll, give, I'll give him a pass yeah, on no. that. Like, We're not talking about that. He doesn't need defensive work rate, but like just his his body language, man. Like for the Belgium team, like dude, he was the guy who looked. Dude, that's that's when he called it Lukaku. Like, dude, fuck you. You go hide for Chelsea week in week out. Like, don't don't give me this bullshit trying to stop hiding. Stop hiding. I, had Man, to talk to I disagree because every time I watch hey, maybe, Chelsea, maybe, maybe I didn't see this. Maybe I'm blind. Maybe I'm a fool. Every time I watch no, no, Chelsea, no, you can have a different opinion. But I'm looking no at Eden Hazard, right. and he, Eden Hazard is he's sticking out. Every, every time other I, year watch I watch Chelsea, that's true for me. Every other year I watch Chelsea, that's true. Even when he's not scoring, he's. Nope. One of a brand no, other, than that, other than that, jo- other than that what, Jose year, even before and that, and that's man. because I mean everyone went down. What professional player feigns an injury and walks off the field to fuck over his coach? Who does that? He didn't even go to ask for a sub. He didn't sit down. No, I'm done. Time. He no, just I'm walked done. in straight no, to done. the training room. No, my like, okay, so my you, leg. So, so that's always saying like on that, the that, field, he's, he'll assist when it's time to assist. We're not saying he's selfish in his playing. We're saying Hazard plays with Chelsea for sure, but he's not playing out of love. It's a job. He's paid to be there. There's nothing wrong with it, man. Some players are just assassins, but that is a, a trade of him. He's a mercenary. Him. That's a trade of him until the, the the issue is that you see so contrasted on Belgium. Like, it's not even like... He played out of his close. mind. Dude, the, it, it that's was insane. Shit. To me, that's, not, that's, that's not, like... That's country we're saying because discrepancy between that is too large. You see De Bruyne play harder for Belgium than he does for City, but the discrepancy is right there. Salah, it's right yeah, there. Yeah, you know why? Because he also is loves like City. He loves the, the manager. He loves no, the situation no, he's in. He loves that he's playing the... He's but like before the manager, before. Hazard has always been up and down, dude. That's all we're saying. That's every other year, like, and I agree with consistency. When he has that doesn't, off- to me, that doesn't no. mean he's playing for himself. No, I'm saying the reason he has his off year is because he's he makes he's it about himself. himself. Yeah, he's like, no, I'm not. That's what we disagree. He, on. he is also getting older, and anyway, he's going to be, time, dude. Yeah, he, maybe one more year he'll start being ready to be that captain material. I personally would give it to Aspie, um, Courtois, or Fabregas before Hazard, but no, he, that, that, those are my opinions. He goes to Real Madrid. He he explodes. Yeah. Because he'll have all the freedom of the world. Oh, yeah. yeah, but do you give him the armband? No, I'm no. just talking about armband. He doesn't want the armband. I, I don't. Th- I, I mean, I don't think a player I think turns he could it down. Take but it, but it's at Madrid? No, no, no. At Chelsea. At Chelsea. I was, yeah, kind, of, I was kind of surprised to see him even have for Belgium. You know, and not yeah, confident not wear it. But we saw it. We saw it even in the speeches. It was all Lukaku. Hazard wasn't the one. So like, I think he's a captain in his play, which yeah. is great. But I think by a captain you get more when he's in the locker room calling everyone out. I always go back to Vieira. And Keane, like those are captains. Ferdinand, that's a captain. He'll make the speech, and he'll play well, and he'll be in the locker room telling guys not to go out on certain nights. I agree with that. That is all by his plan. That's fine. But then it's because Stevie G is not that dude. Stevie G had the band, but then it's Jamie Carragher who's making those speeches. Stevie G is more the quiet dude. So there's different captains for different for for different uh, days and games. Uh, Any other transfer news? Uh, I got got, got one one for Hussey. So okay. Uh, Brighton, Hoven, Albion. Brighton and Hove Albion. You know what I'm talking about, Hussey? Yeah. No. Yeah. The guy's name. Come on now. Let's do this. Oh, jeez, yeah. Alareza Jahan Pakash. Yeah, it, yeah, no chance. From, I'm going to think of that guy. Uh, uh, that uh, a nickname real early on. I'm never going to say that name ever. You're going to have to. I can't. Just I say, just say Boulder Dash. And do <laughs> <No>. <laughs> uh, a, a, a player that uh, I'm surprised more people aren't going in for. Um, from Belgium. Uh, Derek... Um, Boyata, the center back. He's 27 years old. Uh, on transfer market, he's listed at 2 million euros. That's That could be a steal in this market. If you can get him for like 20 mil. Look, he was a city, then he went to Celtic. But he, he looked pretty good in the World Cup. He did. He looked uh, solid. And, Again, for, and I'm not saying he's a top four material, but if United want to get that secondary, no. if, fine, even Liverpool no, want to get that, oh, that, that he third. He should go to like Everton or... Yeah. Yeah, uh, I don't think West Ham, he can do that if he wants. Go somewhere where you're going to play. Six, yeah. That's but my thing with a guy I, like that. What about a West Ham? A West Ham? Because yeah, they, they really it's were deal. shoddy on the the, uh, the defense last yeah. year. Because I think he have a shout. Um, but another team that I thought was doing pretty good, Leicester City, they lost Mares for uh, 67 million euros. But then they got James Madison, who is an, like a breakout player for Norwich last year in the championship. But then again, we have to remember it's the championship, not the Premier League. That's the sneaky, though. But uh, Ricardo Pereira from um, uh, Porto, the right back, I think that's a great sign because Simpson has been kind of shady after the – because oh, his game – on the field has gone down while his Twitter game go- was going up against Carragher after they won the, <laughs> won the, uh, the league. But Danny Ward from Liverpool, 
Uh, 14 mil, that just shows the inflation of the market. He's a third tier goalie going for 14 mil. Five years ago, a top, uh, not top tier, but I mean a, uh, a starting keeper would go for 14 mil. But then you also got Johnny Evans at center back for probably the, the um, Morgan. They did get rid of... Dragovich, yeah, uh, because the the loan the loan ended yeah, uh, from gone. Leverkusen, but the Leicester I think still gonna be around, man. They'll be swinging their shots yeah. as long as they have Jamie Vardy. They still kind of have that like culture. We're gonna see what Vardy's about though, yeah. because there were many games where Morris bailed him out, like he just disappeared. Well, and you see he, him. he hit numbers. He hit twenty last year, I think, or he hit nineteen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, season, he has numbers, but like we're gonna need. It was gonna have to be, to and it's gonna have to be more on grade. his shoulders. It's like, like a hot kind it's of like performance. Delhi. He got the numbers, but it was kind of like a, like a quiet that's numbers a because weird, everyone yeah. thought like he was playing down a little bit. He, 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 he turned it, he he turned it on late, but he still fin- he's finished with twenty goals in the league last year. The year before, after the title, he had thirteen. Um, so he stepped it up from the year, you know, that that gap year there. Dude, yeah, Demario but he, he needs support, man. Up. He's not the guy. That's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Ahmed Musa, time time to step up. Yeah, yeah. This yeah, guy. But Ahmed Musa played the best when he was down the middle. And I don't know if Lester's still playing the four four two system. And Okazaki's still in there to exactly. fight. So well, for me, it's about guys. Uh, is it? I say Lester. They'll be top ten. I say they struggle for top ten. They'll be top ten. I say they struggle, man. They'll be top ten. Mares with that bailout. They're going to be like fucking Burnley, just choking. Uh, manager here, uh, Antonio Conte linked with AC Milan. Uh, Gattuso has been in the hot seat. As you know, Conte was sacked by Chelsea. Gattuso doing well, though. He was doing all they, right. They he was doing better than give him a all few the months. other guys. Yeah, yeah. But, um, Inzaghi, Sador. Here's the thing, <laughs> He's out, bringing in old when, players. When you have a manager like Antonio Conte on the market, yeah. do you let a big fish like that like hang around? No way. I don't. If yeah, I'm yeah. Milan, I'm trying to snap him up as quickly as I can. That's and that's true. what they need. They need a manager who's going to pull everything together. You know together. what you do, though? Hey, yeah. Gattuso, you're going to be number two? What? Or Gattuso? <laughs> you think that dude will take number two? No. I'd dude, hope so. Dude, he, lo- he loves this club. Like, Will he want to be involved still? I'd hope so, but it's weird. Once you're head manager, once you're head coach, you got like... He's, bas- he's basically the, he's the caretaker for this team, essentially. He's getting, he's getting no managerial background. Yeah, he doesn't, and that's why I think he loses. But he does have player background, which and like the lead. I think which he might go like, like a Zidane, sporting it director. You know? Yeah, it, it does because he lot. brings the fire. So I, I'm not. I don't think you're crazy for saying Catuso as a second. I just think when you're a head coach, you bring in your guys, your staff. You're working closely with this. So now if. Conti comes in, just he's to, getting I rid think, of your guys. Just don't, just don't do and it's a demotion. You know how awkward it is to be yeah, demoted yeah, at and work. And I think he's a personality. That's what Giggs like, did. Never G- Giggs, 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 Giggs is like, I'm not going to stick around. Be Jose That's offered. Awkward, yeah. He's like, awkward, nah. man. And but just don't, just don't, don't do the, the spirit. You yeah. can't do what you want anymore. You can't go you go from being the head coach. You call the shots. All of a sudden, someone's like, nah. Yeah. Dinner was never this time. told how to play, you, you how to manage. I think he could go sporting direct and still yeah. maybe have some kind of control. Behind I think he the should scenes. be. I think he's a manager because he's inspirational. But he's we have to get the other stuff down as well. Any for sure. Um, I, I saw Boateng linked with PSG. Um, Which Boateng? Uh, the, uh, what's his name? Uh, at, uh, Jerome. Jerome Jerome at Bayern Munich Matt also linked with United yeah he's a I wonder why you guys keep getting linked with studly center backs you so need him man you gotta stop living in this fantasy so this life word, this word hot, need is getting thrown around to, to okay to a, need you do to need. win the league Dude, we're not to gonna we're league. not gonna win the league this year. I'll tell you that right okay, now. Sir, I'm pl- oh yeah, uh, dude, the I'm not gonna win the league. The big story. We're gonna win the Champions League. Giving up. I love Winning the Champions League this year, bro. I love it. Dude, uh, with Liverpool Man, and Man- <laughs> with, with Liverpool, <laughs> and- that's a joke. I think you just suffer from heat exhaustion, bro. Man, you're not as good to win the Champions League this year. It's a fucking round robin tournament, not round robin. <laughs> no, it's more than round robin. Dude, Jose, he more than that. if Liverpool get it up there with their team last year, like it's Liverpool's again, attack always- was prolific. So Dude, if you have a prolific attack or your team's Sanchez, just super balanced Sanchez and studly, and well, hey, we're gonna play defensive. We're gonna play uh, pragmatic. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. You don't know what the Champions League is anymore, bro. I love you don't even know dude. what it is. Dude, I say that because we're going to invest all our time in the Champions League. Like, with, with Liverpool spending and Man City spending and just being a beast. And like, you guys not spending? I think, yeah. And us <laughs> kind of having a lull year in the transfer market. I don't think us in the, the World Cup and all the injuries, I don't, with the slow start to the league, we're fucked. If we start slow in September, August, September, we're not going to win it. So why bother chasing the league? Hey, finish top four. Do like Obviously, don't capitulate. But I think Champions League is going to be our bread and butter. Yeah, Doug, Just focus on the important we're, games. We're, we're, yeah, that's a, if, you, if we can win, a, if we can win a, the Europa League with this this team, essentially, add to that team, 
Europa League, same format as Champions League. Which different that's competition. That's an interesting... Different an quality. An Way know, different tell quality. Tell I, I said it, that. But you look at Liverpool over 38 Liverpool games. Liverpool made it a fucking final. They got pipped by Tottenham at the end. What Al is saying is like, of course, man, you want to win the league. But he's saying it's not ridiculous that Jose, being a trophy hog himself, after September would be like, look, City's already t- nine points ahead. Of course, let's keep chasing him. But we're going to save our legs on the games before Champions League. Pogba, Lexi, Lukaku, you're not playing. And it's a switch, but I don't understand why there's this massive shock. When Fergie left, people thought United was still going to continue. Of course, there was gonna always going to be a drop-off. Yeah, so there becomes a time when Jose has to choose this year. Do I want to fight on three fronts, FA Cup, uh, the league, and he Champions w- he League? He will initially. Initially, of course, of course yeah. man. But like when you're looking in Even September... if you fight for Champions so League, if United I'm saying you have no chance with this current squad. If you add if Liverpool before the window it closes... For me, for me, that's what proved it for me, that it's... that's put the icing on the cake i've always respected champions league it's great but in your group stage you're often given two at least two weak teams that third one can also be weak but oftentimes it's a solid Who team your big three because liverpool's got a big three salah three, lukaku, lukaku pogba and, and alexi and, and de gea uh, or even de gea that's alexi our, that's our but three. on the field alexi sanchez yeah. so pogba, lukaku, lukaku sanchez are going to get you goals is Pogba going to get you 10 plus goals that's the question we don't need 10 plus goals dude, hey, if we're, if we're I'm, winning still, one I'm looking at how liverpool got there dude and we're not gonna we're not we're not we're not one player so we're not there 10 both of those no, all three those tried and had 10 goals all of those three had 30 goals amongst them dude we're not going to outscore teams by four goals we're going to win one nothing we're going to win two to one we're going to win two nothing looking at the trend of champions league there's all there's usually a team who's defensive and gets to the final that's us and then there's usually a team who's attacking and we're defensive and attacking like team we're wins. defensive we've got the, the best in defensive recent history league. yeah yeah fine attacking but like getting wins. into fine if we have an outside cha- if we have an outside chance at the even league getting in the finals dude it's get, not nah, champions league is about trash. draws y'all dude if roma made roma made it further than barcelona even like yeah y'all too trash to make it yeah man i just don't see you just saw actually not even know what it is anymore let's talk europa man like i i know what it was and i know where we are we're starting fresh here i'm fresh man i'm feeling good about our season, <laughs> that's how everybody's gonna pull back on me. I'm looking good at the about table, our season Arsenal's right now. On top, it feels great. No, nah, I'm realistic. You know, I'm a realistic no, fan. No, for that's why when he said no. it, he he no, he thinks you're not just gonna you. win Champions League. That's why I laughed. Fan. That's why I laughed. I, I, uh, I, I don't. I think it's a breath of I think it's a breath of fresh air for Arsenal fans. Like I'd be fucking relieved. Yeah, even if the horizon, you don't even know where it is or what it is. At least it's a new one. You know, with with Arsenal being gone, until it's not. And he's got the first. He's got the first year buffer. Until you finish But t- talking about United re- getting the Champions League final, I mean, I don't see Real Madrid making it back this year. I mean, the big, the Bayern Munich is crumbling. The Empire is crumbling. Uh, Real Madrid's going to start to crumble, I think, with Cristiano gone. Uh, Barcelona's even kind of crumbling with Messi. In a weird, I mean, who wants to see Barcelona Juventus this year? Dying for I just want to see Juventus up in the CR7. But I, th- I think this anyone. is a year. This is a year where Man City can make a difference. PSG can make a difference. United can make a difference. I mean, we don't have a Champions League squad, but that doesn't mean we can't win it. We can't, or we can't get yeah, to the dance. We can't it's get to the dance at least. Like, look, it's it's, a, it's, it's possible, but is it probable? No. No, no, that's fine. Like, agreed. A lot man. of things like, are like that. Exactly. Everything is like but that. But like the. That's why Champions League for me has always been this weird tournament. Like, yeah, it's cool to win it, dude. Of course, it's badass. But you, it's a luck of the draw thing. It's like World Cup. England had this I easy think road. Some of it has to do with that. But, man, most of the time. Yeah, most of the time, the best team wins. I think team most of the time, through. the best team wins. But there is a greater possibility just in soccer because the format but of with the having, tournament, you play people twice. But with having a manager who's won it, what's three times? Like, that's a different X If we're going in there yeah, with Klopp. I look look at the teams he won it with. Fair enough. You looked dude. at those teams and you're like, oh, shit. And this isn't like before. This, uh, this, this isn't Porto a Sunday, Monday morning line. quarterback. Porto was his first one. That so was the one where he's, he snuck so up on it's people. it's in him, though. But 100%. it's in him. Like, he's proven that I can win with a beta team. Like, But he, was, he, man, man, he still wasn't favorites. proven at that the time, too. So. Since then. And he also, I mean, he obviously wasn't. He wasn't in the headlines can ha- all the time either. But, but is it probable? Look, you can't write off Jose, but again, I kn- if I'm putting my money on it, I, I wouldn't put money on uh, United making the finals or I will winning. F- 50, no, bucks. No, but, no, yeah. but, 50 bucks, no, they no. make the final. No, yeah. Champions League, yeah. I'm on it. Let's I'll, shake I'll on give it. it to you after the transfer season yeah, closes. Yeah. Yeah. I'll make yeah, that. So that's, a, that's a good one. Yeah, that's so, for real. a cool I'll story. It, I'll shake a hint on that after A cool story that I forgot about was Delaney from Crystal Palace. Gonzo. Leaving to go to his hometown in Cork, Ireland, uh, for a free transfer. Uh, he's 36. Kid story over there. Uh, 
His hometown. Yeah, I mean, Kabai <laughs> right. is out of there too, but I think, uh, Delaney, that's a cool, cool story. He's going back home. Yeah. Maybe helping awesome. them. But yeah, uh, one one squad home. that I forgot to talk about, I know come Freed brought, uh, sorry, Al brought up one of the guys because I How saw. How dare you? I saw the last name because you uh, said Issa Diop. But I mean, Philippe Anderson of West Ham. Uh, Yamalenko for West Ham. Maybe it's a little too late because he's 28 years old, but that's still a good signing, I think, for West Ham. Fabianski, uh, Fabianski from uh, Swansea. Jack Wilshere. Um, another player that we forgot about, I think, for West Ham, that he's only 19, even though uh, he's been around for like three or four years. Reese Oxford. Yeah. He's kind of nice. been forgotten. Uh, I'm really eager to see him play. I hope he doesn't get loaned out again. Oh, dude, this is him and fucking Issa. Issa D up in the back, baby. Both towers, both tower human beings. Dude, before we wrap up, major, major MLS move. We probably should have opened up with this one. Alfonso Davies. Wayne Rooney of the scores Van- for DC United. <laughs> of the Vancouver Whitecaps, breaks the MLS record for transfers. Yeah. Going to Bayern Munich. Woo! Bayern says they bought him with intention of making him a first team player. They're going to loan him back to MLS until the season's done. So he's going to join Bayern on January 1st, 2019. <laughs> quack, quack. What an absolutely beautiful signing for MLS, man. USA, Let baby. These talented players go. Let he's him go Canadian. become the next Pulisic. Poli- That's fine. <laughs> he's uh, going to claim him anyway. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, like, him but the real question is, how long till he is a United States resident? No, I think he's already repped uh, Canada. I think Canada locked him up early, so I don't think he can move over. Um, Unless he doesn't play for the first team. Let's see, but Canada's not good. You know what I mean? Like, So it's not like... But look it up. Yeah, they got but either way, man, Alfonso players. Davies, that's the name. So he goes, gets signed early in the week, has to fly over to meet up with the Bayern bosses. Um, I think they were in D.C. or something, somewhere in the States. Signs, whatever, smile for the camera. Flies over to Minnesota or back to Vancouver to play, the Min- uh, to play Minnesota United. Scores two goals, gets one assist. They went 4-2. Like what a uh, what a week! I think this kid had the best week of his life. Yeah, he made his debut June 2000, uh, 2017 for yeah in man. the Concacaf for Gotta Inca. Lock so these he, kids up, bro. Dude, this is like this is like George Best being from Ireland. Like, what? It's just a waste of talent. Like, he's never gonna see any major tournament. He's just gonna be Ryan there Giggs for Wales. Ryan dude, Giggs but, for Wales. But he's in. He's in, no, I disagree. He's in Concacaf. We had Panama go through. We've had Honduras on our ideas. Like, I agree with you. If he was playing in Europe. That's rough, dude. Actually, but World got, Cup 20, Canada, 2026, Mexico. he'll be at that World dude, Cup. Yeah, I don't know if all three of them will auto-qualify. You think they will? Yeah. I, I think, well, yeah, they, I were think ta- they were talking about that as in, like, the there host. might be some kind of, like, uh, I don't even know. Like but I think they all three of them get in, right? Because no, this is the first time. Uh, they're all actually, hosting no. in each country. What did they do with, uh, I think, uh, Japan, Korea, Korea, Japan, Korea? Japan, Korea, both made they it. Got, they got in. All right, so they'll both be in there, the first time is the third. But either way, he plays in CONCACAF, man. CONCACAF, you just got Mexico and the U.S. Like, if you can... Panama. Panama. Bro, Trinidad. Panama. There we go. They ruined Panama. I mean, we're shouting out Panama. They ruined dreams. They made the World Cup. Yeah. That just reminded me, because we're talking about... When we go randomize, who are we all sitting on? Panama. That just reminded me, we talked about Mexico. A lot of news just fizzled out with Chucky Lozano. Oh, dude, this guy should be picked mm, up by a fucking... Oh, dude, During Palace, the tournament, West everyone Ham. talked about him. Dude. Because, again, it's that high you get from freaking the World Cup. He literally, look, this kid is promising. Let me say this. He's promising before Work the rate. World Cup. Everyone was Speed. looking at it. But just because you have three or four good games at this level doesn't mean someone's going to come in for you. I think someone should, for sure. But I wouldn't be surprised if someone didn't. Dude, drop dro- 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 20 on him. Look out behind you. Drop some money scored, on him. Man. Agreed, man. Remember, a remember season, what's his name? Uh, uh, Josie Altador in the Eredivisie. Eredivisie is not the end-all, be-all. What was his name? Matea Keshman? I remember Josie in the World Cup, too. Josie? He, Josie. Altador? Yeah, and he... He was, he was, he Josie wasn't doing what Chucky was jo- doing. Josie out the door? He wasn't balling yeah, the way okay, Chucky yeah. was balling, you know, I on hear the you, ball. I man. I don't think he has to prove it again. <sighs> Just like Maguire, man. prove it again. Some dudes are ready, bro. You okay? say that, man. Some dudes you are ready. Some, some dudes, dudes don't have to keep proving and proving The difference, is, the difference for you is like 90% you, of the dudes are ready. Nah, nah, this, he has nah a that's not. Here. Okay, see, I'm going to tell on this with Lozano just because you you take that gamble this year instead of waiting a year or two. Now his price is fucking 20 million, 30 million more. Or it's not. Or it's not, He's man. He's rated like, probably I th- at like I 50 right There's now. a reason it died, guys. There's a reason it died. I, think it's, I still I th- think he I could think it's move. Safe sp- I think it's a safe I think gamble. it's because he stepped out and was like, all right, I want to move. I'm, I'm ready to like kind of leave PSV and take my next step. And I don't blame him for and that. And when that happens, clubs 
a lot of the times they'll question your mentality like oh does that mean you're going to do this to us now you're not loyal like eh. so i think that might have a little bit to do with it for sure Correct. but it's still psv so i mean look i mean psv uh, is one of the legendary clubs but as of now it is a lower tier club compared sure. to other Absolutely. just because of the league but um if his price tag was between 30 and 35 million pounds I think you pull the trigger on that one. Yeah, you, that's, that's you roll the dice if, if on that. In Eng- if you're in England with your rights and all the money you get per year, pff, it's not th- 35 mil is almost nothing. It's breakfast. But uh, anything else before we wrap, boys? I think that's about it. That's all I got. All right, guys. Thank you for joining us for 258 Free Flow Transfer Talk. We'll have a little bit more uh, fantasy talk next week. Won't be, you know, as in depth because the season hasn't started. And you guys can read plenty of articles to get news but again the league is open ready to go check out our facebook for the link join asap looking forward to it bus this is the year this is the year i get you I finally wake up this i've been is overthinking <laughs> the last two years i mean i i think i finished like as soon as the group goes to more than four people know. tiki you struggle i know, I know. there's <laughs> a problem i dominate back in the back in the back in the day you used yeah, to be good you know after know, wonder you know <laughs> well, that, run that was before i mean i started Yahoo becoming days. obsessed <laughs> and Dude, then that's the <laughs> problem. Like I've I've relied on my knowledge. So I used to research, have weekly like fantasy like uh articles being sent to me. So like I was really in it. I know it's tough over thirty eight games. It like, is. But I'm tired of seeing a smile on Hustle's face <laughs> being the resident fantasy you know hero what? and Wayne Spateri and all these dudes. The too many times that I see you guys going with your heart. Go that's with, it. Go with your that's gut. It. Forget go, no, their go names. The stats. Yeah, forget their names. Gotta Forget go who numbers. they play for. Yep. But it's and Obama, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And guess what? I'm picking him up. He's going to be a Bonnie banging goals in all That's year. Gross. Damn, really? <laughs> That's gross. Will he use the condom? Or? Oh, man, dude. <laughs> this is like the worst time of the year for uh, Lindsay because she says I care more about fantasy sometimes more than her. Like and I'm like, she's supposed to be a true. fantasy, bro. Come on. Mm-hmm. Oh, I tried it one year. Remember that one year where there was like this random team in there? Uh, I made a team. No, I thought you were going oh, no, the other way with that. I thought you were trying. Like, this was this was during uh, this was like, during yeah, Yahoo this days. This was an invitation. No, 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 this is this is Yahoo story. days. I can see not. a hus. I can see there's like a Santa like Claus four of us. No, there's like no. four of us, and then Come randomly Come a, another team got in there, and Fruit's like, "Wait, who's this other team?" I'm like, "I don't know. Maybe they just guessed on the password." It went going. It went for like a month, and then trying to put a roadblock, and Hus just punched right through it. <laughs> He's got them run flats. No, Tell us about time. your fantasy. No, no, it's like a, it's like a movie when you just like go over the other car with like the ramp. <laughs> all right, all right, everybody. Well, it's you, been Al. real. Love you all. PFC Nishi, uh, Nishi, <laughs> Nishi, Nation, CLNS Nishi. Media. Great people. Check them out. Thanks for thanks to them for putting us on. Uh, they they sponsor this episode. That's CLNS Media. Right on. Peace. Time to get wild. <laughs> <laughs>